you know, TLI, like how, how people make you feel about the whole Taliban thing. Like, yeah, like that, that whole thing. I mean, yeah, it's exactly <laughs> like that. <That's> a great <laughs> <laughs> it's just like me because I'm in the Taliban. I think everyone knows and acknowledges. Hi, I am Lone Identity. Mom brought me hot pockets today. Yummy in my tummy. You're watching Monique Rose on YouTube. woman on the screen he's masturbating i mean he I mean, he said he's masturbated to the blind chick on the lost on the prairie if he's masturbating to that there's no limits the man will masturbate to anything well she's blind so she can't see how little and crooked his dick is that's a that's gotta be that's, that's, that's yeah that's yeah that's he's vulnerable be. he likes that he likes the vulnerability of that. yeah she's she's vulnerable and dude, it's the it's back in the uh he's got to think back in the prairie days there was no internet so he didn't have to tell people he was a registered sex offender <laughs> Yeah, nobody could Google him. <laughs> yeah, it really would have been the time for Lauren to be alive, huh? Lauren's got to get on horseback and go 30 miles to the neighbor to let him know he's a sex offender. <laughs> yeah. In a wagon built by Lauren, too. It's all fucking shitty put together. <laughs> Guess I'll know he was, like, sending letters to kids. <laughs> Drawings of his penis. <laughs> Arranging to like walk four days to their house. I mean, there is a family in California that did receive something in the mail <laughs> yeah. of Lorne doing a thruple sex. Wow. He has done that. He is known to send drawings. M Mommy, can I check the mail today? Sure, why not? <laughs> what could what could the mail possibly hold that could harm children? What could go wrong? <laughs> Mommy, no. The letter, this envelope just says, like, don't show your parents. <laughs> like, only open if you're under the age of 14. Sloth, are you there? Can Sloth, you hear me? Can you oh, hear yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. <laughs> so, well, wait, wait a minute. Since he hasn't seen this, backstory, though. Lorne was emailing with Chris Hansen, the real Chris Hansen. I thought it was mm -hmm. someone trying to troll him. And, well, we did as a group. And I used that opportunity to email him as Casey, saying that, Chris Hansen got me in contact with you because he was asking that Chris Hansen for her contact information. <laughs> and he was showing, and then, like, he, he was just has those, it. Yeah, and he was showing those those emails to Jamie, 
we were like, well, we should catfish this case, you know. So that's how this starts. At the time, I was working with Chris and trying to get him not to contact Warren so I could do it because I knew it wasn't going to happen if he did it. Mm. Well, right. Because his email because... address seemed super sketchy. I told him not to do it because I said, I don't think if you contact him, it's going to happen. Let me, and, and then it didn't happen. Hello. I was asked by an old friend to email you about some sort of an apology. Hmm. How do I know it's really you? I have an idea if you don't mind doing it to prove you're really Casey Morrow. And I apologize for having to be this way, but I have to use caution because of the people on the internet. Can you show me your photo ID? Just cover up the info you don't want me to see. I just need to see your photo, your name, and your birth date. Thank you for verifying that it's really... Uh, I know it's early, but... So you email a pedophile, and you ask him, hey, I heard you wanted to talk to me. And they go, yeah, send me your driver's license. And you just immediately do it. That that should have been a big red flag in him right there. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you just immediately, no, yeah, no questions. <laughs> but, I, but I had an excuse for it because I, well, I guess it comes up a little bit later for why she sent the ID. It's a very weak, flimsy excuse, but it's still an excuse that worked on Lauren. I, but Lauren should have just known right off the bat. As soon as, with all of his problems getting anyone to send him anything, when that came that fast, he should have been like, oh, that was a little too easy. Yeah, I had that ready to go because I knew he was going to ask for it. <laughs> you. I've been fooled by others before that I pretended to be you. I wanted to apologize to for meeting me at the lowest point of my life. And also for any harassment that you receive from this odd community of people that for some unknown reason to me are obsessed with me. It really puts forth their intelligence level. Also, thank you for trusting me enough to email me and giving me the opportunity to apologize to you. I'm not sure what you are talking about. Like, okay, about. pause it real quick. When I mean, did we meet? Yeah, gotcha. It's been, what, 14 years at this point? Like, from this email um, to the time she saw him in 2007? Do the math for me. Yes. This thing happened? 2007. Yeah. So yeah. that that first email, he said, like the reply back, it sounds like the ramblings of a fucking madman. Like, the... well, hold on, hold on, real quick, Blue Boy. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yes. It's kind of my thing. Um, is this on his birthday? Yes. So is this exactly <laughs> 14 years to the day that they met? Yes. Wow. And she's supposed to just know all this Church of God stuff he's talking about. Well, my question is: Is it brought up at all that it, they met 14 years ago? go on this day no <laughs> god damn it Who, whoever the casey you think he'd bring up the right um, decoy was right whoever the casey decoy really dropped the ball on that one she dropped the ball <laughs> on a lot of things yeah pass that to whoever did this i'll Bullshit. pass it on to that dummy <laughs> thank you did we go on a date or something i'm very confused why you are apologizing i've never been harassed about you're gonna ask who it is after you sent your driver's license <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing's fucking weird already. That's insane. Okay, way, you have my license. Me. Now tell me who you are. <laughs> this is how Slothcat lost everything license. in the dot-com bus. The driver's license looks ridiculous. It's, it, I just took a driver's license like off Google Images and pasted her face on it. It looks It's very horribly put together. <laughs> But Lord, look, as far as Lord knows, that kind of technology is right. decades old. Like, you didn't think, like, why is her picture, like, a different resolution than the driver's license? Nothing. He's like, what am I talking about? Yeah, right. Like, they're going to make a fake driver's <laughs> license with today's technology? About anything. Your old friend is Chris Hansen, Reed. He didn't tell you who I am? <laughs> I thought Chris had another job lined up for me. I didn't receive details. See, that's why the ID was... Wow. She thought there was... Oh. Some work now. Can I email... Okay. So she so, thought he was like a, an, uh, uh, you know, like a talent agency or some shit, I guess. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I didn't need to think that far ahead. Yeah. Yeah. That So that makes sense. I thought Chris had a job like this. <laughs> <laughs> why does he think he's so goddamn important? Like, I don't understand. Well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Her and Chris had an hour-long conversation. 47 minutes was about Lauren. <laughs> but it never came up who they were talking about because she's clearly confused who Lauren is. <laughs> like, after all this time, he still thinks he's as relevant a celebrity as he would be 
for being on the show in 2007. It just like, yeah, like, like, still like, maintained even, that level. Even then, peep, the show was popular. Chris was yeah, popular. Yeah, it was never him to begin the, with. The Predators were not popular. <laughs> Like, they were they universally were, hated, reviled individuals and who get like, shit on for decades. Coming up tonight on Letterman, we've got Arsenio Hall. And from To Catch a Predator, Lord Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he acts like he was like a contestant on Survivor, the way he's <laughs> like you're not you didn't do something cool, man. You were on a show <laughs> trying to rape a child. Yeah. You were on the receiving end of a reality show. You were <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> It, it wasn't like t- bloopers and practical jokes, bitch. You were arrested for trying to have sex with a child. <laughs> Other than getting arrested, like murdering someone on live, I don't think of anything worse you could do on TV in the eyes of people. Honestly, like, I'd rather get caught doing a murder. <laughs> murdering someone. <laughs> Yes. Right. right. There will always be there will always be people who will defend you murdering someone, but you will find very few people <laughs> yeah. outside of the other yeah. people on to catch a predator who will defend you for showing up on to catch a predator. Yeah, pedophiles don't get like fan mail like serial killers do. <laughs> That's not the same kind of vibe in prison. And what does he think he's gonna go on talk shows and talk about everything but him trying to sleep with a kid what he's yeah. famous for it's like i'm here to talk like, about my music actually <laughs> david i'd really like to talk about my upcoming projects uh yeah those are some of my greatest hits i like to get away from yeah. <laughs> mr fallon i'm not here to talk about that today what Which i, I think was like... one of his rules with chris in the email when he emailed chris back it was like you can ask me questions but you can't bring up the sting and it's like <laughs> who, who, wants to, who wants to talk about that who wants yeah, to talk about what I want to talk about is that rice pudding recipe that he put together. How, bitch, how do you make rice pudding and it's just rice and raisins? <laughs> yeah, just a uh, spoiler, guys. That is not how you make rice pudding. We're a minute and 20 seconds and we're doing really well. Rice and raisins. Give you a little more later. Okay, I'm done work now and at home. This makes me feel very awkward. Where Chris didn't tell you who I am, he contacted me to try and get an interview with me. If you don't want to talk to me after I tell you who I am, then I understand. I am Lorne Armstrong. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Sorry, I'm not familiar with that name. Really? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let me refresh your memory. Then Lord, just a 2007, to catch a predator. The way he sets this up, it's almost like someone <laughs> describing it was game like seven direction. of the NBA Finals. <laughs> Michael Jordan had been sick all day, food poisoning. They didn't think he was going to play. It's the last game for them to like, like the, the the last show they ever did. Bowling Green, Kentucky. I was on that show. <laughs> the last show they ever did in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I was on that show because of that show. Some ignorant people came up with the Church of Cod, and it's all about me. And many thousands of people that are obsessed with me, some good, some bad, make retarded videos about me and have these chat rooms that revolve around me. I have a YouTube channel that I haven't been on in years. Chat preservation rooms. put a restriction that I cannot be on social media. Like, does he not come across like he's totally fucking me. insane? Yeah, this is I mean, really, I, I, he's getting worse. It, like, because yeah. if, if she doesn't remember who he is, and then this is what he follows up with, this is crazy. Well, you wouldn't, if you got this from someone, you would never reply. No. Because no. There, even if this if this wasn't real, then they're fucking insane. If this is real, then they're fucking insane. Yeah. Because if you don't know what he's talking about, he goes from, you. you of course you remember me. I was on that show to catch a predator, and now there's a church that's yeah, all about me. Yeah, he's going into chat rooms. And... and they make retarded videos. Yeah, he sounds like yeah. an insane person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he would say this to a stranger, too, is the thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like someone, someone, he would ask someone how their day is going. They're at the grocery store, and they go, fine. He goes, yeah, well, I got these fucking, these retards on the internet making you <laughs> <And he's> like, <laughs> oh. you running up. Making songs so please about Please don't me. use the R word at the grocery store. <laughs> right. Some of the some of the songs are pretty good. Some of the songs some of the songs aren't very good. I sing, and they would just be like, "Please, sir, just check out and leave. Get your single bottle of beer and leave." <laughs> I'm quite positive. If you look on my channel, you will remember me. The whole thing with the church at Cod is strange and messed up. People that have no life. Chris knows of it quite well. 
They've talked about him in there many times and made videos depicting him. People are always trying to find a way to get a hold of me and find things about me even 14 years later. It's very disturbing. Anyway, if you go on my YouTube channel, I'm sure you'll recognize me. At least I think you will. I'm actually very surprised that you're not recognizing my name. Oh, yes, I remember you now. I wanted to apologize to you for the way we met. <laughs> Yo, I was at a very confusion. If you need to remind someone of who you are, I don't think you need to apologize after that. Obviously, <laughs> that did not impact her life very much. No. no. I want to remind you who I am. Now I need to apologize for the hurt that I caused you <laughs> that you didn't remember until I reminded you about. Yeah, like she already That's... said that she's no one's harassed her. He doesn't know no where he idea. got that Oh, from. yes. Yeah. I don't know where oh, he yeah. got that from. Was that like an Emma thing? The which thing? Hit, like, where he got this idea that she was being harassed? He, he, you know, he's probably mixed up something that a cat, well, that a catfish told him, and he believed it was the real Casey, because he gets all that shit confused. Mm -hmm. I, I do maybe at the time. Remember when he was uh, sending pictures to Casey with his like? Didn't he like cut a hole for his dick or something? Oh no! He had like a poster made or something. Yes. Right? And then, and like then, a, Lockhart, like a prom like, thing, like, well, you and Lockhart told it was stupid. Yeah. Um, and so I, I, I believe that, that they, they told him because of those signs or something that he was getting her, she was being harassed. I believe. Okay. I could be wrong. Um, and low point in my life, and I never had a record before that except a DUI. Yes. Yeah, that was very over the legal limit. He has oh, to be always all the beat. He can't not mention it. <laughs> it's like if he mentions it, it'll like soften the blow of the other side. Right, like, like, I don't understand why. You, why? What is this? How was that part of your apology? To her? Right, it's, it's, I'm so it's sorry. Relevant. All I had on my record was an OUI. Yeah, a child, bro. The, the, the OUIs yeah. are relevant. Bro, no one cares about it. It wasn't your relevant DUI. then, it's not relevant now. No. no one cares about your DUI when your other crime was trying yeah. to rape a child. Yeah, one of the things no one cares. the other. No one cares. It's like, like when it, they charge someone, like, they have, like, methamphetamine on them and weed, and they charge you for both. It's like, one yeah. of these things is, <laughs> yeah. is clearly worse than the, the other the one. the weed go, yeah. 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 Just, no, I mean, it's just... It, it, or stop it, mentioning it, the weed so much in every conversation. Right. <laughs> Shut up about the fucking weed. Yeah, Shut up about the weed. <laughs> It's just, it's just so funny. Like, what is this thought process? Because this isn't a conversation where you say something and want that toothpaste is out of the tube. You have time to write and rewrite and think about what you're That's writing. Another thing too that yeah. he, just well, never... he doesn't have time for that. Well, because he another <laughs> thing that with these emails because I don't have timestamps in each email, but he's replying like instantly the second she sends a reply, which are on average like forty five minutes. To an hour in between his his emails back and he's replying like it's a text message like he's instantly checking his email well yeah and he he wants no he's you remember this he was on the chat room the last time lauren was in his it was in his game and he was in his prime he was still on the chat room and when you were going after 14 year olds there were a lot of other dudes looking for that same 14 year old you had to be fast that's true. You fast. Mm. You had to you had to be in there with the offlines because when, when little Susie comes home from school and she has her milk and cookies and she gets on the computer, there's gonna be a lot of other perverts trying to contact, holler at your girl. You gotta be That's there true. with the offlines. You gotta be there with the rose. Boom, rose, boom, clear your archives. Yeah. Boom, here's the moment she gets home from school. Yeah, you hit him with it. Oh, you're home from school? This is TLI style. Boom, there's a penis. Right. <laughs> a professional. <laughs> hey baby, mess with me when you get home. I'm home. Yeah. Boom. There's a dick. That's it. What's up? <laughs> that's a, that's how I'm you like say three different angles. Yeah, three different angles. Yeah. <laughs> that I never had the chance to What's apologize. Up? How was school? To you. Here's the under. I also want to apologize. <laughs> you've never received any type of harassment from the idiots in that community of no good. I can't seem to live a life that doesn't revolve around me. Their strange, obsessive behaviors baffles me. Well, as I stated before, I haven't been harassed. I'm happy to hear that. I was being told different, so I felt bad about it. Hi, Casey. Yes, hello? I'm not sure what the question mark is for. Because I was just being you, friendly, lol. You fulfilled Actually, now the that reason I think why about you reached it, out to her. I may want to get your opinion.
No, go, go ahead. Say that again, Blue Boy. No, I'm like he's like confused why she's why she's confused why he emailed her the next day. Good morning, Casey, or whatever. Like because you said you emailed her to apologize, and you made the apology. So what are you? Why are you still trying to talk to her? But that's just the beginning. The apology yeah. is to open the door to their oh. new relationship. That's, that's a weird <laughs> right. way to go about it. Like, see how I've understand. changed. Sometimes you steal your neighbor's mail, right? And then you take it over there, and you're like. <clears throat> Sorry, it looks like I got your mail. And they're like, thank you. Then you're like, mind if I come in? And before you know it... Oh, I've seen that video. Y'all banging. Mm. Yep. They get more than mail. Yes, exactly. You got mail genitalia. Right, you got mail. Inside <laughs> of you. In your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you got mail inside your mouth. Bad credit or no credit? No problem. Are you on welfare or social security? Are you newlyweds? No problem. Come see us. I say, I say, I say, this is Frankie and Johnny's, a place that lets you have it with no problem. I like to buy a bedroom set. Do you have any credit? No, I receive social security and welfare. You have seen a special man. Let her with no problem. I like to buy a living room set. Do you have any credit? No, I filed bankruptcy. You have seen a special man. Let her with no problem. I say, I say, see Frankie and Johnny, he's a credit man in town for only $50 down if you put you in a living room set, a bedroom set today. See the special man. I got the $50. Let her have it. With no problem. I got it, I got it. With no problem. Opinion on something, if you don't mind giving it to me, I have to do a little more thinking about it, though, because, well, it's not something that I've ever considered a normal subject for me, but it's something that's in my life now, and I find myself struggling with a way to deal with it. Basically, it's a sensitive subject, is what I'm trying to say. All right, what's the subject? Dating is the subject. Oh my First God. off, have you ever dated someone that you didn't agree with their choice of career? And also, can we keep anything we talked about between us, just you and I? People go nuts with gossip if they knew that you and I was communicating with each other. Maybe I should reword that. Have you ever dated someone that you had a hard time dealing with their choice of career? He didn't act like it's going to be in fucking People magazine. Right. He didn't (laughs) didn't really reward it, though. We said the exact same thing. Oh, my God. So, I mean, I've listened to this several times. I I just, my question is from the beginning, (laughs) now, it was pretty clear uh, what he was doing. Early on, he wanted an in, right? Like, like, like Sloth Cat said, he wanted the in. The, the apology was the in. Alexa off. <laughs> the fuck is, why was it playing that song? I don't know. Just it just randomly starts playing shit. I said nothing for it to start playing anything. Uh, no, he'd be dancing around in his house. I was to that say, track. What do you do? <laughs> with, with, with Jamie's underwear on my head. <laughs> my my bag is in her room right now. Uh, so. Oh, I so he, he had the in that was fine, but she never replied back to him after that or showed any interest in carrying on any kind of conversation outside of that. So why does he transition it from "Hey, I'm sorry, I was a pedophile who tried to fuck you when when I thought you were a child" to "I'd really like to talk to you about my relationship." Right, or just even like I said, she didn't like you said she didn't email back to him because he made the apology. She said, "Well, I was never harassed." Yeah, and he's like, "All right, great." That should have been the end of it, right That's there. It. And now he just emails her the next day and acts like that, like they've just been friends for years. Now, now they're buddies. Dude. Now, yeah. now you're buddies. You're still the. If this was real, you're still the grown man who showed up to try and rape a child. Right. That's all but you are. She didn't even want to talk to you. And now she's going to talk to you about your relationship. I think the first thing she would ask is, is this a real woman or is this a child, Lauren? Do I need to, like, is, like, seriously, how old, is she in school right now, Lauren? Well, he had to mention her career, so he, she knows that he's dating adults. I don't believe that I have. Okay, let's do a hypothetical and say you have, lol. How do you think you would, hmm, thinking of the word I want to use. You don't have to go, hmm, How do you in think an email? you cope with it? <laughs> this is something yeah. I'm struggling just with right now. Sorry, I'm not. Word. Well, he, but he wants I to keep seem, interrupting. You know, he I'm wants, sorry. No, he just wants to seem personable and uh, and and fun. And he wants know, to convey that he's that. thinking. I hate he's that. Make sure she knows. It's an email, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I don't and, need and, to know and, that you're thinking and going, hmm. And you know he's not doing voice to text either. This is all him typing out. Right. He typed out, hmm. How do I word this? 
all lawn, you're, you're killing them. Yeah, and this is this is his this is his A game. That's what we're going to see throughout this. This is his A game when he has time to write. When right, he's probably contemplated this kind of stuff for years, and yeah. and he's in the very beginning of he's already he has a girlfriend right now, and now he is clearly interested in this other girl. And the way he is going to show his interest is by like, hey, you know what? I, I like you, but my current girlfriend's a piece of shit. So what I'm going to do is warm you up in the hopes that I can get with you next. Yep. And it's so fucking <laughs> transparent. <laughs> oh. Not really sure. Lord. Meditation? Mm, yeah. I'm not sure even meditation will work with this one, lol. But it's worth a shot. I'll give that a try tonight before I go to bed. I know you're probably busy, so I don't want to hold you back from your activities. I have a bunch of things I need to do also before I get started on my new job tomorrow. <laughs> have a great day and be safe. P.S. I think it's cool that I'm talking to you. Rather unexpected and a little humorous, too, but really cool. Oh, I'm going to have to meditate twice as long as I plan to. She stresses me in the <laughs> How come? She doesn't make any sense. It's a very messed up situation. I don't think it's going to work out. We've been on and off. So, so Blue, early on, did you know this was going to work? Absolutely, it was going to work. And, the thing and I what, didn't think was going to work was the voice changer. I did not think that was going to work. I remember you sending me a clip and saying, can you believe this word? <laughs> <laughs> um, but so when when the emails would come in, would you purposely wait to reply? Did you want to reply really fast and you just would hold off? Or what was your plan there? Um, it we know you don't have a job, so it's not like you were busy. <laughs> right, I don't work, so I had all day. <laughs> but no, real though, really though, um, it was it was kind of a mixture of both. Like there are times I am at work, like during the yeah. day, but yeah. at night, like I also I would purposely wait, so it wasn't like. So he knew that she, he's texting him back was not a priority. You know yes. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. So you're saying when you were at work, sometimes you would be too busy to reply. Yes. But I, anytime I send you a Sika video, what's the first thing you do? Oh, I, I watch it instantly. I tell you, I tell you, I'm like, I'm taking a break from working. I'm gonna do and then two hours goes by and I'm watching Sika videos. So I haven't done anything. You missed meetings. It's, yeah. yeah. It gets bad. Oh, no, if some, a good Sika video is worth missing me. That's what I'm saying. There's things that take priority. And Lauren wasn't one of them. Sika videos take priority over Dude, Mary, Mary Sigmas? I'll miss a meeting for Mary Sigmas. Yeah, Sigmas. I was like, there's, you, you, good luck getting me to do anything for the rest of the day after that video came out. You're telling me the eight-month pregnant woman has taken all the ornaments off the tree and replaced them with cigarettes in the middle of the night because your stepdad turned the Christmas lights off in your room after you shut the power <laughs> off to the entire house and they kicked you out and you drove around? For an hour and a half, crying in your car. Yeah, I'm gonna miss this meeting. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have to, we're and thankfully have to your <laughs> and, and and thankfully your manager at Goldman Sachs is very accommodating <laughs> to you. Yeah. <laughs> very very yeah, gives you long breaks, <laughs> long lunches. It's like, oh, you're watching Seek again. I didn't know I worked there. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing my research. <laughs> well, the, the Taliban knows everything about all this, guys. That's what we're gonna learn sooner or later. Yeah. You're, on, you're, you're on many lists. Nothing in her behavior has changed. <laughs> I've kept a lot of hope for a long time, but she just keeps fighting me with multiple subjects that are a major problem. Anyway, heard that you got married and had a baby. Congratulations. Do I know your girlfriend? Not sure okay. why you're I telling know, a guys, stranger I'm all of this. Part, and I'm just going to make this point really quick. But the last time you saw this person, it was trying to fuck a child. You do not bring up her children. <laughs> You just don't. I didn't even e think of that. <laughs> ever. Ever. Unless she brings up those children, you never, ever, as a pedophile, bring up yeah, someone's children. That you heard she had kids, someone you haven't seen in 14 years. Right? Like, why <laughs> would you be looking that up? Why would you know that? That's so fucking yeah. weird. Like, what do you mean you heard it? <laughs> oh, I, was just, I was just thinking about your kids earlier. <laughs> I, I was fantasizing about you having children. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, see, the problem is, is that Lauren walks around all day, and nobody in his real life reminds him that he's a goddamn pedophile. So he just walks around as if he's not. I mean, he, frankly, he should be dead. I don't know how he's not dead. I say the same thing constantly. Lauren, just die already. You'll he's be been on done. Time. Can't all this get over with, Lauren. Lauren, all this can be over now. <laughs> 
Just do Does it. Does he have any walls left on his trailer? Is it just a floor? <laughs> an open you, floor? Eventually, Cornville is going to reclaim that trailer along with you. Just Nature's going to reclaim the trailer. <laughs> Just return to its basic elements. And it's gonna, fucking... and it's gonna spit his body out of the land like a discarded <laughs> seed. <laughs> Where did you hear I was married with kids? Adult, you know, uh, and you asked how come, so I told you. And someone told me they saw some interview or something with you on YouTube. Apparently, by the response you gave me, the person that told me that was lying to me. People can be so disappointed at times. Well, people shouldn't lie, but no kids or husband. I'm sorry about that. It blows my mind the way people can lie about things for God knows what reason. Are you still dancing? I saw a video once of you dancing. Don't impressive. say that either. Yes, I am. I got a disturbing email. Someone told me they have detailed information to disclose to me and asked me to contact them. I don't understand what's wrong with these people. Their behavior is disturbing. Wow. I replied to them with a question mark. Because if I say it's too much to anyone, it ends up all over YouTube. I haven't heard anything back from them yet. It will end up on YouTube? Yes. Have you ever seen the chat rooms that people have made up revolving around me? Yeah, the chat rooms. <laughs> chat rooms. Yeah, she already said, I don't, I don't remember who you are. I was why, on so Yahoo why chat. Why would you have seen the chat rooms? I was on Yahoo chat, and there were a lot of people talking about Lauren on there. Just are a they? lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yahoo chat. Uh, the AOL chat, they're all just talking about still Lorna. Just, just talking about Lauren. Club Penguin. <laughs> Club, yeah, well, actually, Lauren was in Club Penguin. <laughs> yeah, that's why I got his internet taken away. I like penguins. It's messed up. These people must seriously have no life to go to work, go home, and spend the rest of their day making videos about me and talking about me. Yeah. It's very I disturbing. Do other things. Yeah. Good morning, Casey. Oh, whoops, a video. I missed a letter when spelling your name. <laughs> Guess I'm not awake enough yet. Let me try that again. Good morning, Casey. Hello. I got another email from that person last night. It's some scam thing. Oh, no. I can send it to you if you want to read it. I have something to show you. This is an example of how ignorant these people on the internet that are obsessed with me can be. Some are really decent, but <laughs> some are just as numb as can be. You're quiet today. I tried to send you a little video of one of my dogs earlier, but the file was too big to send. <laughs> she was so cute. I thought you already were demanding her time. Anyway, hope your day went. And and just like when he was trying to groom Kayla back fourteen right, years ago, same exact he's like tactic. Using a dog to try and groom the person who he believed <laughs> Kayla was fourteen, like a thirty-five-year-old. <laughs> Trying to groom a 35 year old you know, dog and like, yeah. You know, this time 14 years ago, I was in prison because I met you. <laughs> I was thinking about you. Uh, well, he only has one script. That, that is insane. That is insane. He's, does, he's does he do that like at bars? Did he do that at bars? I have a dog. I want me to send you a I have a dog. I don't want to go see it. Yeah, he's real cute. Sorry, I love my dog. Yeah, he. <laughs> well. Hi, Casey. Hello. How are you? I am good. How are you? I am good. Did you have a good work day? I didn't work. Oh, okay. Well, how was your day off? For three days, my girlfriend and I got along awesome. She didn't message you. And she had to pull some stupid shit tonight and screwed it all up. She frustrated. No, you're, you're wrong. She said I didn't work. And then you said, okay, well, how was your day off? And she didn't answer. And so Lauren was like, you know what? Why don't I fill you in with I'm just going to go on about with, my day. Go tell with, you what with, I have to me. Since you didn't answer. And that was really just a setup for me to complain about my girlfriend. <laughs> and then here's just a, a quick tip for, for any of you out there who are who are looking to cheat. Uh, if you're if you're looking to cheat with someone in your relationship, the, the way to do that is you don't you don't shit talk your partner <clears throat> to the other person you want to cheat with. You you boost yourself up. Because shit talking your part, it just makes you look like a weak person. Because if you hate your partner this much, why well, fuck are you with them? Right. Lauren, Lauren should be using this time to try and boost himself up to just look like a better person 
and like a good he person versus <laughs> versus soul versus trying to make his girlfriend look like a piece of shit, which he does the entire time. I don't understand. Or ask the fact her that. about herself. He hasn't even well, really no. asked her any questions. He's just going on about the church god and he, his he knows girlfriend. everything he needs to know because he he forgets that she's not Kayla. He, that she's not <laughs> that she's not Kayla from the chat log. He's like, so how's your ex? And you know exactly who he'd be asking about. Yep. Like, where's Derek? Have you heard from that guy? And she's like, no, Lauren, that was Kayla. That that person didn't. She doesn't. She wasn't real either. Like. She doesn't explain it to him. It, it's because he has like the the mindset or like you know the general riz of a thirteen year old. Like it's yeah. as far as he got. Yeah. So he's gonna be like, well, how will your ex? He sees he's immature. He's a child. He has mind. <laughs> he's a child's mind. <laughs> Stress the hell out of me. No, you dating anyone? Good morning. Why do you think it isn't going to work out? You know, I'm not. Nice. I don't know. Sometimes she does things regardless of how I feel about them. We're really not even a couple right now, but we know we want to be. There are some complications that get in the way. I have many times that I believe there's no doubt about us, and other times that I question it. I wish I knew you well enough to be able to talk out straight with you about what I, but maybe in time. She knows that I'm talking to you. She tries to hide her jealousy about it, but it doesn't work well. I haven't told her that we only email a little. It keeps her guessing. Lol. One thing that we don't have to worry about is that she won't tell anyone that you and I are talking to each other. She has some notoriety too, so she knows how to behave and keep things to herself. She's a porn star. I made a chopped up video <laughs> of me singing Open Arms by Journey while driving in my truck the other day because she likes 80s music. Talk about some hard notes to hit. I could hear where I got off key and it still bugs me now. But regardless of how hard it was, I got it done for her. Oh, it's almost sad. It's hard to understand how a woman as beautiful as you hasn't been snatched up already. boy. How do you know? <laughs> I know. That was smooth, Lauren. It, wow. Mention like your it, singing and then mention your dogs. Right, The dogs, the singing, and compliments. The only thing missing is a rose kiss smiley. Seriously. And but also, he admits that he, we're not even dating right now. So yes. this also seems even more crazy. Exactly. But we both want... So you, if you want to be dating her, why are you bothering me? Right. If, yeah. If you want to be with someone and they and you know they don't want to be with you. I don't even know where I'm going with this. But like, the, you would be together right now. Yeah, exactly. Like, if, we both want to be together. Unless the thing keeping why, you apart is like COVID or there's some reason why you can't physically be together, maybe because you're a pedophile and can't leave the state. Um, why are you help. not together? What, what was that? It doesn't help. It probably doesn't. You're, probably, <laughs> you're right. It probably does. You know what? Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget that love does not conquer all. Sometimes being a pedophile. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> That's a deal breaker sometimes. U.S. probation conquers all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. U.S. probation conquers all. That a less popular uh, saying. Even love, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes your crimes get in the way, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you get blocked. I, no, that sounds like an R&B song. Sometimes your <laughs> crimes get in the way. Sometimes, you, sometimes your my crimes, crimes get in the way. Get in the way. And then you talk over it, TLI, with like a deep, like, yeah. yeah, girl. Yeah. Sometimes your crimes get in the way. <laughs> Sometimes my crimes. <laughs> what you've done should not define who you are. <gasps> Sloth I love you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> From now to the end of time, that and that's how you do it. His prison time. Yeah, till the end of boy crime. Was the man and Drew Hill. <laughs> and, and then Blue Boy was just and Blue Boy's the Jewish manager. That's yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that that was also the sound of all our money leaving the leaving the <laughs> bank from our, my from our yeah. Jewish manager. <laughs> Giving us a 360 deal. <laughs> he owns he, he owns all the masters. Come on. He's not an amateur. We're, we're making, we used to only make 10 cents per album. Now we're getting nothing. So, you know, we got a pretty good manager. Yeah. No, she's yeah. jealous. Do you sing frequently? Because oh, yeah. she gets upset with me and makes smart ass remarks. It's cute and funny, lol. And yes, I sing a lot. You never seen my YouTube channel I made about five years ago? Actually, I think it's been longer than five years ago. I can send you little clips that I told you about if you want, but I don't know how they'll come out through email. I send them to her through text. 
think well, she understands remark. how I big haven't seen YouTube a channel is. like that. She has a guy friend that she met on the internet. What was that? So I don't think he understands like how big YouTube is. He, why would she have just stumbled across his YouTube channel? Because Probably. he's a celebrity. Yeah. Well, I also said um, like a year ago, you know, I, I think dumb people don't realize they're dumb. They think everyone is on their intelligence level, right? Like what you know, the, the extent of what you know is the extent of what basically everyone knows. You know there are people way smarter, like Einstein's, but on a Lauren probably believes everyone thinks and does the same things. He, and because he was on to catch a predator, that is what when he wakes up in the morning and when he goes to bed at night, the the first and last thing he thinks of is that sting. And even though for her this was just an acting job, and she got to go home at the end of the night. She didn't go to jail. She didn't go to prison for five years. Right. This was just a thing. This was just a thing she did a couple times and moved on with her life. But he believes that she would be on the internet looking up anything related to the show that she was on. Because he doesn't understand other people. Like, she's done a billion things since in those 14 years. Meanwhile, Lauren has has just gotten catfished more. But but he also thinks that he's dated her a couple times, right? Is that is that still true? Well, well, no, but he no, he knows that each time that was a, that's why he okay, also so he wanted knows to apologize. Right, right. He wanted to apologize to her for people pretending to be her to trick her. <laughs> Idiot! Just imagine sending that Idiot. email. Yo, I want to apologize, girl, for people pretending to be you and tricking me into dating them. They made me <laughs> masturbate myself thinking about you, but it wasn't even you. But I, you know what? I want to make that up to you. I want you to make me masturbate myself with your voice. You deserve Aww. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. Take notes, guys. <laughs> that she hangs out with along with a group of friends. I'm irritated by it. And she's known that I don't like it, but she still does it. I've never talked to any other woman since her. And I started now. So if I say something that is upsetting or irritating me, she'll say, mm, why don't you tell Casey so she can make you feel better? Lol. Maybe YouTube took it off because I haven't done anything with it in years. If I send you these clips of me singing open arms, I need you to make two promises to me. One, that you don't share them with anyone. And two, that you don't make fun of me because I am like literally working my ass off to hit the note and really be on myself. Lol. Jesus. You're irritated she hangs out with her friends and you can send them if you want. Not irritated she hangs out with all her friends. Just one that doesn't understand or tell him she doesn't want hum. And there's about 10 of them to send. When I do this for her, I will have to only do about 10 seconds at a time or it messes up when she sees them. Just, I'll try to fit them all on. What the fuck? <laughs> you are sending... You are... Oh, you, you, <laughs> I'm going to send you clips of me singing 10 seconds at a time. <laughs> And that's how they came through, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> oh, it's like a pedophile song, so the, the resolution's all bad. Was he singing open arms? I don't know, because I, I didn't see any attachments to the email, so I don't even know if I even you got them. You just you know, you know why you don't know? Because you just masturbated yourself and didn't even pay attention to the song. Just admit it. Just admit <sighs> that's what this was for you. That, you really, I admit it. You admit really got into character. <laughs> <laughs> I lived as Casey Morrill during that time. You know I'm saying I forgot sometimes who I really was. <laughs> you were constantly at <laughs> yoga. <laughs> yeah. Very method. One email. Yeah, I'm a method that? actor. I'm a yeah, method yeah, actor. So yeah, absolutely. Oh. Won't let me send them all in one email, <laughs> and some of them are too big to send, so I just sent one. Maybe someday we can exchange phone numbers, then I'll be able to send them through text. They wouldn't come out good for her through email. We had the same problem with the file size being too big to attach to email. It queued the video I tried to send to you, so I don't know or when you will get it. Good morning. I sent two and it no longer says queued. It says sending. It started sending around two this morning, so I have no idea when it will actually be sent. You can give your number when you feel like you're ready to, but... I am begging you not to let anyone have my number, including Chris Hansen. I'm back to wondering if her and I should be together. Ugh. So frustrating. Oh no, what happened? Hi. I'm really confused about her and not knowing how to react or what I should do. 
It's so much to type to be able to fill you in on everything. She's 25 years old, so I find myself wondering if she's mature enough. I know the town's finding things about her that are very mature. The whole backstory is so messed up, Casey, you wouldn't even believe it. She doesn't think that she's wrong about anything ever. She's had a habit of putting her friends right in the middle of us and in the way. It's so frustrating. I'm watching the news right now. Are you getting wet with the rest of California? I mean, that's the smoothest potential line Lauren asked, and he didn't even understand what he just did. <laughs> yeah, she hey, girl, you getting wet with the rest of California? <laughs> Uh, hell yeah. Let's talk about the <laughs> pussy. Right? No, that's how you do it. Wow. Yeah. And Cha Ching, he owns that one too. So you, you gotta <laughs> stop doing it while we have this contract. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> it's a hit boy. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Ugh. I started to type a lot to you, but it's woo too much to type lol. Ooh. Let me ask you something. Do you think it's a good idea to go on the internet and meet other guys? I remember why I paused it. Um, he keeps mentioning it's too much to type. Because he wants her to say, well, then just call me. Right. Like, it's so his just... way of asking for her number. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, oh, my well, God. I, I can't send I these to... singing videos through your email. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's a good way to do it. Trick the girl into giving her giving Because well, he, can't, he can't be a man and just come right out. Or not even a He can't be an adult and just right. come out and say... Hey, I want to call you. I, I hate this fucking email thing. Let me call you so we can have an actual conversation. The last time we talked, it was 14 years ago. I was sitting in a recliner with my feet up about to get arrested. I would love to speak with you on the phone. Remember me? I was the rapist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Where's my head? Hi, I'm Lauren. I was the rapist who was arrested after sitting down with you. I would love to have your personal phone number so we can continue a dialogue. Well, first of all, he wasn't the rapist because what was did he do when he got there? He, he was sat the down the chair. He, he sat in the chair. chair. He, just, he just sat there and told me. He just asked for a kiss. That's it. It's yeah, just, just like a plain, to kiss him. A plain Noya PSD. It got <laughs> turned down by, by a 13 year old that he tried to kiss. And then he was sad that she dyed her hair without asking him. That's it. Yeah, besides all that. Yeah. Just regular shit. That so now I can't do. show up at a 13 year old's house with a camera in my car after telling the 13 year old I was going to have sex there and take a Since picture of it. I can't he was trying now. to pawn the camera. Okay? Exactly. You really need to stop camera. bringing up the camera. I was just trying to pawn the camera with tape with tape on the back because I'm Lauren Armstrong. I don't know how a pawn shop works. Look at me. Look at me. You think I know <laughs> how a pawn shop works? Clearly comes from class. Sir, he clearly knows me. how a regular shop works. Excuse me, sir. I got these white shoes at Kmart. Uh, yeah, I go to the pawn shop. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even pose to be there. Like He <laughs> went down the road, road and it was dark you know, and... Mr. Hanson, to be honest, I should be drinking at the bar right now. My buddy was going to buy my drinks all night long, and I said, no, you know what? I'm going to go have sex with this 13-year-old first, and then <laughs> and then I'll be here for free drinks. So if you excuse me, <laughs> if there's no child to have sex with, I'm going to go home, Mr. Hanson. Guys, when you're dating someone. Well, she is 25. Yeah. She's young, and it is a common thing to meet friends online nowadays. Oh, how I wish you knew the whole story, lol. Is it common to invite those friends to go to your town to meet you? Then that friend never leave? No. no. How am I supposed to feel knowing that he's interested in her? But she's not interested in him, but invites him to hang out all the time with her and the rest of her friends. Am I in <laughs> like, the wrong being so upset about it? This is fucking weird. I don't she know. doesn't know these people, and that was a very weird way to explain it. No, no, it's impossible to get to get through these because every fucking email is it if you were teaching a class on how to speak with someone you're interested in, this would be what you would use as your examples of what not to do. Because everything here is is wrong. He's bashing his partner, he's asking this person. He has told he has gone on and on and on about the bullshit in his life, but he's asked her nothing about what's and, and when he does ask her, she gives him very short answers. This yeah, is not a conversation. This is not a conversation she's interested in having at all. And he's desperately interested in having. Well, she replied, so obviously she wants right. famous. Yeah. I mean, they're just they're just a yes away from banging around a corner because mm -hmm. see his dick actually has that around the corner action where you can be on one side, oh, he can be on the other. Yeah. 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 You pay extra for that upgrade. <laughs> Girl, you offer some short responses, lol. Mm -hmm. 
I have a female friend that has been writing me letters and wants to meet me. Ooh, nice. She knows me from all the online crap revolving around me. <laughs> she has always been nice. I will put her phone number on the letters for me to call her. So a couple of weeks ago, I called her because the girl I've been talking about was acting like I should like her inviting that guy to visit her. She wanted to come visit me, so I told her she could. She's coming in November and going to spend Thanksgiving. I told him, okay. The woman I've been telling you about, her name is Jamie. Now, I told Jamie about her coming, and she acted upset, but I didn't want her to be upset, so I told her that the woman that is coming to visit me is 62 years old. <laughs> which she is. But she is 62. This woman is only staying for six days, then going home. What are you, you going to do to her? <laughs> Why? What, what are you doing to this woman? But like, so you're telling the person you're interested in about the games that you are playing with the girl you're currently not even right, with. The manipulation. Right. The, yeah, the way you're trying to manipulate her with this 62-year-old that you're letting come <laughs> to your house for Thanksgiving that you only want there because your girlfriend was getting... You jealous, so you call this woman out of spite, and now you have a 62 year old coming and you don't know what to do with her. Correct, dude. This is an 80s sitcom and having two dates for the dance right now. (laughs) Lorne is running back and forth, he's at a he's at a fucking airport ramada. There's two dances across the hall from each other. This man has two dates and he's running back and forth. He has to change in between each one, and then he gets caught by both dates. Mm. You know he feels like a boss right now. He has Jamie, Uncle Jesse. Jesse. He's Uncle Jesse. <laughs> there are some things in life you never forget. Your first kiss. Your first dance. The first time you saw a hummingbird. And the first time you tasted the new thicker gravy style gravy on each powdery morsel of gravy train dog style food. The number one choice for pedophiles worldwide. And now... It has even more brown color and meat-scented extracts than ever. If you love your dog, feed them something else. But for the rest of us, all aboard the Gravy Train, the official gravy-based snack of the LWO. Gravy. You can still suck a dick without a voice. (laughs) And I've told her about Jamie, and I told Jamie that I told her about Jamie. Did you follow that? The whole wall. So you are doing the same thing you don't want your girlfriend doing? Ha. I just had a thought. Can you imagine how much different her reaction will be if I told her there was you coming to visit me? Lol. I wouldn't do that, though. That would be me. What is this, day three? Technically, she's not my girlfriend. No, no, no. She wanted me to keep that. This is uh, day seven. This is a week. 25. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is a week now. He doesn't stop. No, how can he stop? She replied. This is good. That's I, a good how point. long? Yeah. How many days in a row do you think Lauren would have emailed if you if you didn't reply? I, I think don't know. Probably five at least. I think Lauren would just keep going until probation was looking at his email because they monitor everything and be like, "Why are you <laughs> just keep texting this number?" And you know that Lauren would not assume she wasn't. Re- he would think she got in a car accident and maybe she's in a coma. Yeah, of course. Honey, I hope you're okay. I've been looking, checking the news. They must have it quiet. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I, for you, baby. I, I think if, if he had stopped receiving emails, he would, they probably would have slowed down the amount of emails he would send back, but you know he would constantly be checking to see yeah, if she'll message him back. Just in case. Yeah. That FOMO dick, dude. You get, you, just in case. Just in case you gotta check. Maybe she didn't check her email for the last three. Maybe she lost her password. There'd be, enough, there'd be a reason. Yeah, and he'll come up with a reason for you. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you're good. Here is your dinosaur Alexa off. <laughs> it was about to give me dinosaur facts. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alexa, Why please. didn't you let it play one? I want to hear one. Oh, you want to hear this? Alexa, Hold what's up. a dinosaur fact? Alexa, play this dinosaur fact. Hmm. I'm not sure which now one. It's a, now, now it's acting like oh, I have wow. no idea now what it's going to be. I don't know what the fuck to do, huh? Yeah. That's straight. She used to be my girlfriend. Then some stuff happened that made me mad. That guy she invited to meet up be on one of those things, and I changed my number so she couldn't get a hold of me. About six months later, I got a letter in the mail from her with a number on it, and I missed her, so I called her. That brings us to now, and I guess no matter what I say, I will be trying to justify my allowance lady to come visit me. 
Damn, girl. You were going to make me see that one. You said it. We were quite literally standing on the edge of goodbye. <laughs> but then I... Standing, dude, standing on the no, edge of goodbye. That's a song. Wow. Oh, standing so on the edge of like goodbye a... is my next song. I yeah, swear. Yeah, that's it... like an Evanescence song. No. <laughs> this is why you don't know shit. You should shut the fuck up. Uh, it's, 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 it's clearly a Hall & Oates style 80s song. Uh, no. Hall & Sounds like some emo band Now see, shit. this is exactly why people don't <laughs> think you black, Wes. Hall & Oates. What was that? Really? Hall & Oates. What's that or nothing? Come on. Uh, no, you, you, you talk shit now, but when I put this together, when I produce the shit out of this song, all I want to know is how much money is Blue Boy making? <laughs> <laughs> all of it. It's in your contract. I get everything. Start calling you white most. <laughs> <laughs> With my Hall of Oats. With your Hall of Oats references. <laughs> and all your 80s sitcoms <laughs> that aren't the black ones. <laughs> I said a couple more things and she responded. And we just might be able to make this work. If it doesn't work out this time, then it's not likely that we'll go any further. And as much as she says she isn't jealous about my friend coming to visit me, it showed too much that she is. But I'm going to try to set my friend up with my brother. They're closer in age than I am anyway. How does it show that she is? Why were you almost done? She had a lot of concentration on my friend coming here, even asking where she was going to sleep. I told her she had nothing to worry about because I can't be with anyone else when I'm in love with someone. I'm just not built that way. She tries to tell me that she's not jealous or upset, but it's too obvious and, that she okay. is. Pause it and I quick. think that's oh, okay yeah, because her and I. Have... When he says like it, it showed that she was jealous because she was wondering where she was gonna sleep. It wasn't that Jamie was like, "Is she, is she sleeping in your bed with you?" It was seriously like, "Where are you gonna put this poor woman because she's old?" That's like how it came. That's how the conversation actually went when he was telling Jamie about this. To come here to visit. There was no like hint of jealousy that he seems to think there was. It was her, seriously Jamie being concerned for Sue. Like, are you going to get her a bed? Well, I mean, she you needs hear to sleep and you hear that. Sense, like, sorry, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say you hear that in the in the SMH calls. Like, you know, it, it's still a troll, but there's still genuine concern for this woman that's going to show up at Lauren's house, right? You know what I mean? Like, not jealousy, but like, yo, this is a real person. No, yeah, it's like, once real yeah, people get involved, yeah, you're yeah. like, okay, well, we got to at least make sure this psychopath is is not going to get, you know. Well, if, if for no other reason, if anything was to have happened, people would say like, oh, and you didn't do anything to even try and stop, right? So like, there is some, <laughs> right. there is some level of personal responsibility you would feel if he had done something and you like, you just took it as a troll the whole time. Like, that's a real person. And yeah. Lauren could be like a dangerous well, person. We didn't think she was a real person. We didn't yeah. think anyone was. Gonna, we thought it was an airport trick, like someone was doing the airport mm. idea, get him to go to the airport and not show up. But on the off chance it, it was a real person, we're like, well, you gotta have like a bed for this person oh, you're to jealous. sleep in, right? <laughs> you're jealous. Yeah, and he's like, yo, you, it shows you jealousy because you want to know where she'll be sleeping. And don't worry, she's not sleeping with me. Like, I'm gonna hook her with Roy. Issue, dude. I'm gonna hook her with Roy. The closer name. He also, you know, it's, you know, it's funny. He um he made her hang up the shower curtain in the bathroom. He didn't even put up a shower curtain before she got there. He made her put it up. She put up the shower curtain while while Roy and Lauren went outside to get the toilet from Hold outside. On. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> to get the toilet. Yeah. There was a, the, okay. So. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Now go. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, they get back from the airport, and. At that moment, it's, I don't know what time it was. It was late at night, though. And Lorne, at that moment, decides, well, she needs somewhere to go to the bathroom. Because he didn't think of that for some reason prior to her, you know, coming there. And he had a spare toilet outside. Don't know why, but he had one. And while she was hanging the shower curtain up in the bathroom, the night she got there, that is when Roy and Lorne decided to put a toilet in the spare bathroom. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you had all that time. It's not yeah, like she he, just showed up. Right. Wow. That's it. all this time to do that. And he, he decided to do it when she gets there. Oh, and just, has her help. I know why, though. But just like with the quitting smoking, he's not going to do shit until you actually show up. What if he put that toilet in and you didn't get there? He would have done all that work 
they, they could just keep shitting in the hole like they've been doing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh. I've a lot of feelings and time invested in each other. And as for why we were almost done, this might be the part that it will be hard for you to understand. Her and I have not been face to face with each other yet. We've only had an over the phone relationship because of COVID. She said she had a ticket to come see me in December, but we had just started talking again after six months of not talking. So I was really confused about things because of things that had happened before I changed my number. She asked me if I wanted her to cancel our flight, and I said yes without thinking as much about it as I should have. I got to think about her more overnight, and the next day I decided I wanted her to come. So I told her, and she said she had canceled the flight already. I told her to rebook it, but to my knowledge, she still hasn't rebooked it. Last night, we were at the point in our conversation that I asked her if she's going to come see me. She said no. So I told her that I didn't have any reason to be on the phone, then I hung up. A short while after that, I texted some things to her that she responded back about, and we still have some talking to do, but her big problem last night was my friend coming to visit me. But I told her of something that made her feel better about it. And as of right now, I don't believe we're going to end it. I'll have to see the way she acts today or tonight when we talk. It's not looking good. <laughs> it's over between us. She's too afraid. This whole long email will have to look up if not looking good. And that's the whole email? Was yeah. the whole email, it's not looking good, followed up by another email, it's over between us? Just to really drive it home. And she, and she hasn't responded yet. These long fucking emails. Like you'd have, again, this isn't a conversation where where you're talking and you're hearing yourself talking. You know you're talking too much, but you can't slow yourself down. And you're and you're you know you're in a you're it's it's uncomfortable, but you can't stop. You are seeing these long emails you're sending and getting no reply. Why are you continuing? I just don't understand. He just truly has nothing else to do. But like, like he's not nothing else. He's not new to being ridiculed, to being tricked, to no. being catfished. He should see. Oh. As soon as she says, "I'm not giving my ears," here's my Google Voice number. <laughs> <laughs> he should just know. You know, like, the, the catfishing then, is so part of his life. It, it's you know, if, if it got taken away, what would he be anyway? Well, the crazy. Th so he met. He met Sue. Sue contacted him. Sue proved she was Sue did all these things, and then really went down there. Yet he will still. He would still rather be on the phone chasing Casey, who has proven nothing because Casey's hotter. Well, yeah, Sue is old. Yeah, she's sixty-two. That's way, yeah, she's too, way too old. Sue she's hasn't been fourteen in a very long time. Yeah, yeah, a very long time. And so, yeah, so he doesn't want that. He doesn't want the person who actually, actually will prove she's real and go out there. He couldn't even be, he, there wasn't yeah, even a place for her to take a shit. Yeah. There was, right? There's not even a place for her to take a dookie when she gets there. So that's, that's, that shows you where Lorne is. He doesn't just want companionship. He wants a very specific kind of companionship. Right. No fat shit. Illegal companionship. Well, I'm, okay, but I meant, T.L.I., what I meant was. <laughs> Yes, he wants to legal, but like you know, if he's gonna have to choose an adult, right. he's gonna have to be right. like a younger one, not he elderly, he is one that can remember high attractive. school. Yeah. Well, I mean, have you seen him with a hat on, Blue Boy? <laughs> Back with that. He got like forty. <laughs> not a day over forty. <laughs> Afraid to leave her friends, and I'm just woohoo tired of fighting with her about it. It sucks. She's always put her friends before a relationship, and I was always upset about it. But it didn't matter to her how I felt. It's upsetting. I feel like I've wasted a year and a half of my feelings on someone that became a robot to a friend. <laughs> Why hilarious. would she need to leave her friends? But you said you weren't together. That line right there. It I feel like I've wasted a year and a half of my feelings on someone that became a robot to her friends. And she literally became a robot. She's literally a <laughs> robot. I mean, Lorne. If this was a script, I would say take that line out. It's too on. Right. The, that's too on the nose, guy. Tli, what are you doing? What are you take that song? You take that line out. I'm sorry. I'm not a good writer. <laughs> <laughs> she can't even leave Why her friends to come see me by herself after we spent a year and a half together. She can't do anything without her friends' approval. 
she lives with two of them and she had planned on moving here before to be with me, but she wanted to move her male friend in with us too. It's warped in my opinion. She doesn't care if her male friend sees her naked or not and never really cared how I felt about it. Her male friend just seems to sponge off her and she says that he works for her. They both acted upset at my request of making boundaries between them. I've had enough of our bizarre behavior. I like when others have respect for two people in a relationship. And there's just never been any there, no matter how many times I talk to her about it. And that's funny he says that. We've off to each the other whole... this morning through text about the thing. The whole thing right. about, like, there's no respect. Like, he wants respect from her, but he's been doing nothing but talking shit about her. Exactly. And the ultimate sign of, of disrespect is, is what he's doing. If, if this was, if Casey was real, she, why would she ever consider being with this person? Mm -hmm. look, look what he's done. And they're, and they're not even together. So this is how he treats someone that he's not even with. How would he treat someone who he's with after a year or two when that honey, when the honeymoon phase is over and you're, you're just in this relationship. Like he's obviously out here looking for something, mm -hmm. wanting to get I, th numbers. I think there's plenty of evidence of how he would act a little bit into a relationship. Well, that's true. That's yeah, true. Scream, screaming and crying and drinking and cursing. That's true. But Casey doesn't know about that. She Remember, she doesn't no, look no, any of the stuff on the internet. She has no idea. She's not on YouTube. No. Things the other has done wrong. I would always take responsibility for the things that I did wrong when she would point it out. But she would never take responsibility for her actions when I would point them out to her. It's been stressful at times, and at times it's been good. It just bothers me so much, because it could have been so much better if she would have just created boundaries with her friends. I spent two months trying to get her to send me her photo ID. You see how long it took you to send me yours? This friend of mine had no problem with sending me hers. Some things Sue? just never made sense to me with her behavior. Sue oh, crazy. Her Costco card. Yeah. What did Sue send? A picture of her Costco card to him. And that was ID. That was proof enough I mean, for him, apparently. Yeah, who's going to fake a Costco card? In Lauren's mind? <laughs> Do In Lauren's mind, who's going to fake a Costco card? Yeah, Costco's got, like, armed security at the doors. That they don't <laughs> yeah. And she sent him two Polaroid pictures of herself that were clearly taken, like, 40 years earlier. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. And, and, and a Costco card? And a Costco card. Well, that'll get you a that'll get you a plane ticket with no ID at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> you rent a car with that. Yeah, when I leave the country, I usually just bring my Costco card with me. Tila, you're me. on the no fly list. Tell us how do you get tickets? <laughs> yeah, you, you get tickets with a Costco card, uh, maybe like a, school, a, a school ID, like a uh, a signed a, letter, a, a, AMC Rewards <laughs> membership, a letter from your parents. <laughs> My son is not a terrorist. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Mr. Tila, here's your Costco card back. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> and she doesn't see anything wrong with it. Here's In her mind, it's all me. Art holographic card. Just think, Casey. <laughs> now that I won't be talking to her much, I'll have more. Did you say a Charizard holographic card? A Charizard card? holographic card, yeah. That's and you're just like, you're just like, just like trying to get in front of his face. He's like, oh, that's, <laughs> yes, absolutely oh, yeah. right this way, Mr. Tila. <laughs> <laughs> Look, please More time don't to mention email. Pokemon cards, please. That, put, that puts me automatically in boarding group A every time. <laughs> like veterans, people with babies, and any Pokemon <laughs> card holders. <laughs> Uncommon and above. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. This is common. You're in group C. Yeah, please. Step back. Please. Embarrassing yourself. With you, lol. This sucks. Thinking about her and what could have been is maybe pretty sad. This stuff is never easy. Egg. I just got a call from a job that I never applied for. <laughs> the paying benefits are extremely good too. Like, that's a bit really dangerous, but <laughs> it will be the first dangerous job I've had. How did they get his number? If he never applied, how did they get his number? Right, and they offered him a job, but he never applied for it. Hi, is this Lauren Armstrong, pedophile? Oh, good. Listen, you've never heard of us, but we have a job for you. <laughs> <laughs> He's the dumbest man ever. She I like this. Right for those like drop shipping scams. <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, like someone sent me post office drum. boxes and like shoes, like Louboutin yeah, I mean, shoes. Yeah, and you're just, and you're it up, send it somewhere else. And you're all you're doing is uh is some fucking trafficking, and uh, and then they're putting money in your bank, and then next thing you know, your bank account's closed. 
I like this. A bit <laughs> dangerous, but it wouldn't. Oh, you know what, TLI? Can, can, can give us. A, go, why don't you read that last line there? It's it's danger. Which one? The the last line. A bit dangerous, but it wouldn't be the first dangerous job I've had. <laughs> a bit dangerous, but it wouldn't be the first dangerous job I've had. Aren't you a truck driver? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like an action hero. Dangerous when you're doing it hammered. <laughs> when you're when you when, it's dangerous when you're drunk and you forget the TPS switch. That's right. it. That's when it's dangerous. That's like <laughs> something Jason Statham would say. <laughs> right. It's the dangerous. first dangerous job I've had. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look! It's Lord Armstrong, pedophile. Gotta run. <laughs> Danger's coming. Jason Statham does kind of have Lauren's hairline, which is hilarious. <laughs> He's like Alpha Lauren. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> multiverse Lord, yeah, Mike, but I'm not a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's only one thing I don't like children. On his 37th <laughs> birthday, he went out for those drinks. That's what I, <laughs> I went out to karaoke on my 37th birthday. Why you ask? <laughs> <laughs> Had a mate buy my drinks all night long. <laughs> Time of my life. <laughs> Good morning, Casey. Hello, how are you this morning? Do you dance for a living? Oh, my God. Yes, it's a source of income. It's been two weeks. I watched one of your it's dance videos about five been, years ago. It's been two weeks, and he finally asked her about what she does. <laughs> it's two weeks. Hey, so um, what do you do? <laughs> Am I Dancing with a group of other dancers. I barely... Paragraphs. Right? Like, what is this? <laughs> right? And then she sends back... She sent back one sentence. Yes, it's a source of income, and then he comes back with a paragraph. Oh, this is I like this part. This is a, this is really good. They recognize you because your hair was really curly. I think it was on YouTube. I thought you were really really good. I know it takes a lot of coordination and hard work. I used to love to watch Cynthia Roach. She was awesome too. I think I've always been awed by people that can dance because I can't. Okay. I love the movie Dirty Dancing too, and Saturday Night Fever. I've never been to a live performance though. I'd like to go someday though. It's so cool. I'm in the process right now of emailing back and forth with this truck driving company, negotiating pay. Another one made me a really good offer too, so I'm going to see how much of a good offer this one I'm negotiating with can give me. Do you get many action jobs, or did the pandemic put a big slowdown on the app? I just got a couple of pics of Sue, my friend that's coming to visit me. Want to see him? I think I might fix her up with one of my brothers. It'll be 57 in February, and she's 62. I think they might make a good couple. Well, I guess, if you want to show me. <laughs> okay. Give me about three minutes. I'm outside right now. This is my brother Roy that I think I'll set Sue up with. He was taking a break in this picture when he was helping me tear down house this summer. Oh, that's nice. Don't you think they would make a good couple? I don't know them. <laughs> that's true. Those are my pets. The three pics I sent you. The black. I don't know them. That's true. Those are my pets. The three <laughs> like, she does not care at all. Doesn't care. Could not fucking well, care how less. How would she know if they would make well, a good couple? Well, Blue Boy, they're five years apart. Well, in that case, yeah. They're, they're how, old, all right, how old's your mom? <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to explain why me and your mom would be better than than, than your dad um, because of our ages. Ready? Yeah. How old's your mom? Uh, Like 50. I'm going to hit. I'm going to come in. <laughs> nice, man. <laughs> Go get your mom. <laughs> mom. <laughs> She's in the other room. Come in, my friend West. <laughs> I think you got to like each other. The clan is Roscoe. The Brendel color one is Sadie. And the cat is Minnie. Do you have any pets? No. I'll find out if I have one of the jobs tomorrow morning. If I get it, I'll start on Monday. I'm psyched about that. Oh, yes, I do. Isn't it called Brendel? That's what I meant to say. I just spelled it wrong. Don't pick on me, lol. Aww. What do you have for patch? I guess you don't want to tell me, Dan. <laughs> Secretive lady, lol. <laughs> Was you able to see those two videos all right that I sent you of me singing in my trap? 
Like, I think that time, too, it was, like, legitimately, like, I just hadn't checked in the email yet. Well, and yeah, it's not like, like oh, you you're keeping back. secrets from me? It's, it's like, not like you replied back and, and didn't answer that. There's been no reply. Right. But he's already accusing her of being secretive, and he's all paranoid. I, see, I, I don't know if he's... I think he's just trying to be, like... He, he's really, like, cutesy flirty right oh, now. Oh, he thinks that's cute? I mean... Oh, yeah, yeah, like the, uh, don't pick on me. Rem- remember with, uh, with, with Kayla, he really liked when he walked in and Casey gave him shit, like, well, what good's it gonna do you if it's in the truck? Well, you know, that whole thing, he really liked that, like, this is banter. Think about all of those, those 80s sitcoms that he grew up with. It was always banter between a husband and wife. They, like, nitpick at each other, and then at the end of the night... They give each other a kiss and they go to bed, but like that's what he thinks. They're related. That you're constantly you're like nitpicky and you're bantery and you love each other, but you give each other guff every day. Just give each other guff. That's what Lauren thinks. Well, so I said define guff. <sighs> go ask. Go ask your mama. Guff. <laughs> that's mom. not a word. She, yeah, that's tell her to turn down Hall of Notes. <laughs> tell her to turn down Hall of Notes and and. and uh, ask my mom listens to Matchbox Twenty. Okay, she's a good mom. <laughs> 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 Don't call another place. I'm surprised that Jamie hasn't texted or called me today. The day's not over yet, though. I'm not going to respond if she does. I've had all of that that I can handle. I was just doing some thinking, and I'm wondering if you might be interested in having another source of income that would be oh residual. My, oh my god! You could do it from home. <laughs> oh my god! Be interested in let. Oh my god! He, he refuses Gary to be? do that job himself. I don't know why. What is the job? It's that fucking website that he was pitching to the Walmart girls that got him banned. Oh, you mean cool, <clears throat> cool, cool enough stuff dot cool? Yeah, cool, cool enough stuff dot cool. What's cool enough stuff dot cool? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, <laughs> I but it, the job because he explains it later in the text messages. But the, the the job is he says is just to make sure inventory's on the site. And it's like, so why can't you just do that yourself? It's, but it's a site aggregator. That doesn't even make sense. It automatically, no, through exactly. via API, it automatically pulls whatever category. If your category is sporting goods, via API, it will pull in every eBay auction listed in exactly. sporting goods. Exactly, that's what it does. So I don't. But he tries to sell it as if there's like work to be done. Well, yeah, because you know we work together. I'm gonna work you. He's like, just check on it from time to time. Like, yeah. then do that. Well, but how's he going to give her money and like you know win her over if she's right. not? I, I don't working. know if he thinks that like if she agrees to this, that means that they're like tied together forever. She can't leave. Well, not they're necessarily tied together. Oh, so go ahead. Uh, I'm going to say that they're business partners now. Yeah, yeah. And so they're do they're building a business relationship, which will obviously turn into a personal relationship because they'll be working together building this thing. And one night they'll be p- going over the books. They'll realize they've made their first million dollars, and they'll turn to each other to celebrate, and they'll embrace. But isn't and then they'll, it then they'll bang. Odd. It's odd though. He never offers this job to a man or to like Sue. He only this offers is... it to like the teenage girls at Walmart and Casey. <laughs> yeah, teenage girls at Walmart are girls who he met when they were a teenager when he tried to bang them and went to prison. <laughs> very small. There's a very small pool of available right. of available people for that position. It's exclusive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he he obviously he he thinks this job is a carrot. It's something to entice people. Yeah. This 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 job that this in, website that's made no money, no revenue, well, source, and he doesn't yet. and he does not advertise it. Even when it is up, he has no idea how to advertise it because, to be fair, a site like this probably wouldn't have worked since two thousand and two or three. I mean, you can try it. Look up cool enough stuff. Dot cool. See if it oh comes up. no, I've seen it. I've I've seen it. <laughs> Let me know, and I will tell you about that. I just got off the phone with Sue, my friend that's coming to visit. She's off and yes. ready fixing up her brother Roy. Jeez, am I a cupid or what? Oh my god. Good morning. I hope you didn't share my ID with anyone. No, I didn't. You and I are quite different than anyone else. Like I said before, if anyone knew we were talking to each other, the tabloids would have a field day. Yeah. Have no worries <laughs> with me. Yeah. I'm extra tired tonight, so I'm going to go to sleep right now. Good night. Why did you send me that? Good morning. I don't really have an answer for you for that question. Okay, and right there, Blue, that he sent a picture of Casey, right? 
Yeah, he sent he sent uh, a picture of Jamie's driver's license That's to it. Casey. <laughs> Wait, oh, it was a driver's <laughs> license? Her driver's license photo unprompted. That's crazy. It was never requested. See, I thought I just assumed he sent uh, like a picture of her. I didn't know it was, why he sent her driver's license. It was yeah, her like state ID. I thought I put it. Is it not in the video? I, no, it's just a black screen. Oh, she black. Yeah, she's right there. <laughs> it was just a black screen. <laughs> she black uh, as fuck. <laughs> yeah, but he just randomly sent that to her, and it. I don't know why he decided to use that photo and not the other like the sexy photos of her that he has. Because uh-huh. he's, you know, he has other pictures of Jamie, so I don't know why the driver's license. Of one, all, of all the ones, of the all center, of them. you send the one that she sent you to prove that she was real, and now you just. Send the <laughs> so he sends her Casey's picture ID. No, uh, no, Sue's, he's um um stuff, but then tell Casey, I'm not going to share your stuff with nobody though. Right, because <laughs> th- those they're much different than everyone else, even though they don't know each other. Yeah. Like he's already trying to like create some kind of fake closeness that they have. Well, Casey hasn't <laughs> pissed him off yet. That's the difference. The difference is Casey's not sixty two and she hasn't um cheated on him or fucked Will or any of the other the things. Airport. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all not the yet, other yeah. things all the other things that Jamie has done to him. So right now, Casey is his Casey is his last real chance. At that white picket fence and family, it's, you know, is building up his minor league roster. He is he is deep in the draft, and he's building for next year. I guess because I was thinking about her and looking at a picture and remembering the good things about her, and because I had been talking to you about her, I felt like sharing her picture with you. Some parts of me are really proud of what she used to be. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> The other parts of me are really disappointed in the way she turned out. Anyway, now on to a better subject. Do you do anything for Halloween, like dress up and go to parties or decorate your house or anything? I don't. The only holiday that I do any decorating for is Christmas. I love Christmas. My brother Roy and my friend talked on the phone for the first time last night. They talked for two and a half hours. Royal called me after and told me that they went really well. My friend Sue texted me that it went well, but I fell asleep in the middle of texting her back. She'll tell me more about it today. I'm excited for the two of them because I think they'll make a really good couple. And I think she can help Roy to straighten himself back out. Damn. I just seem to open the read up to you for some reason. Uh, uh, <laughs> What's up with you? Yeah. yeah I got to well, call it. I got to call it. I mean, if I had a nickel for any time Lawrence said that, I'd have like 75 cents. <laughs> and that's that's quite a few times. How does... In, the the thing that always surprised me about Lauren when it comes to this stuff is he knows that these calls have been recorded for years. He knows... He always says that he... As far as Lauren knows, anything he says at any point during the day, there's a possibility that by the end of that night, it'll be on YouTube. And so why does he use these same recycled lines over and over again? Imagine telling your woman all this stuff, and then that night she goes on YouTube and she hears you saying it to Ramona and Winnie and and Casey 1 and Casey 2 and everyone else. And how would that make someone feel? This is just, just recycled bullshit. Right, and they're all women with different like personalities, and he just uses the same lines on all of them. Well, and, and of- it's always, he's talking about them, the reason why you're opening up to them, Lauren, is because they're not replying to you. And so yeah. you can't stand dead air. And so you feel it by just running on about yourself and your problems. But there. No, I'm sorry. I sent you a picture. That might have been inappropriate. Yeah, probably. I don't like Christmas. <laughs> it's my least favorite holiday. Can you delete my ID picture I sent you? I am worried now, and I should not have sent that to a stranger. I kind of feel like I should explain something to you so you will understand why I needed to see your ID. Here we go. Oh, a few wow. years ago, someone catfished me under the pretense of being you. I had an over-the-phone relationship with her for almost a year before I found out she was not you. These people online that are obsessed with me have done some strange things just to have some type of contact with me so they could record me and put it on the internet. 
So you can believe me when I say that my worries about us talking <coughs> is just as great as yours. Yeah. But you show me your ID, and that helped me to be able to talk to you. Mm -hmm. I'm in a dilemma. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out if I should build a new house on my land that I own now, or if I should sell this place and buy a house somewhere else. Wow, now he's flexing. Yeah. R ridiculous. We've, we're, he's flexing, and we've all seen that body. Uh, there's not right, a lot. Right. And we've that all was, seen and, that land. And his, yeah, yes. like, and his fucking land. We've seen it. Well, but, but, but she hasn't. Right, and, right. He, you he, there's know, still some mystery there he can kind of yeah. use to his advantage. Yeah, so right now he's, he's, he's peppering, um, on, peppering on a little seasoning, letting her know, think, girl. Though, if you lived in that trailer, you would try to avoid sharing pictures of it or talking about it. Well, how soon until he sent pictures of the trailer? Uh, pretty soon into the text messages. <laughs> I think within the first week of texting, he sends uh, pictures of like some construction he was doing where he was building. He was like changing the, the entrance way of the trailer for no reason. Like it didn't need to be done. He was making like a grand entrance. He was um making the door, the front door, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Like at an angle, so he made like he he took half the wall down, and then built a a diagonal wall. What? And then put the door on that. Hmm. What? That what? does not sound you structurally picture, sound. In your head? It it wasn't, but and it was for no purpose at all. Like it didn't it didn't need to be done. The old entrance was perfectly fine. It's funny that you look at anything that Blue Boy that you managed to look on anything in that trailer. And say it it didn't need to be done. No, nothing about that trailer needs to be done. It should <laughs> it should it should be destroyed. Right. It, just needs it should to be, be bulldozed over. against his will and leave Lauren in it. Don't even wake him up. <laughs> Act like you didn't know he was there. What's do what's the, what are they gonna do? Are are the people of Cornville gonna revolt if the bulldozer goes in there and then the mayor's like, you know what? My bad. My bad. I don't think anyone, no, no. One would Automatic re-election. <laughs> Automatic re-election. We're, we're going to vote for the guy who mowed down Lauren Armstrong. I think his mother would be the only person, you know, objective to that. You think his mother would care? You know, my son was in that trailer, you know. It, 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 <laughs> she'd be like, she'd be doing her hands with that money sign, like, you know, <laughs> butter up, butter up, uh, butter up my palms here. They'd give her $250 and she'd be a very happy woman. That is my car, you know. That is my car. <laughs> yes, I can delete it. Please don't worry. Besides, if you would have not sent that, I would have been too skeptical to talk to you. Yeah. Well, For some strange reason, you don't that? feel like a stranger to me. And that may be because of the way we first met and the things I've gone through in the years since. I guess that would explain why I feel easy opening up to you. I don't want you to worry about anything with me. Over time, I'm hoping you'll realize that you can trust me. I'm afraid to ask you why you don't like Christmas, because I don't want to have to bring up anything that was bad that may have happened. So if you ever feel like you want to tell me, I'll leave it up to you. By the way, I just deleted your picture. Maybe in the future you'll trust me enough to send other pictures of you, I hope. Oh yeah, I should probably tell you that if I wanted to show you to anyone, I could have done it long before we started talking. I have you on the DVDs from when the show happened. They had to give me a copy for everything. So like I said, you have nothing to worry about about me. I have a question to ask you. You haven't kept any contact with anyone from perverted just And that's another. This. I should probably tell you that if I wanted to show you to anyone, I could have done it long <laughs> before we started talking. I have you on the DVDs from when the show happened. Like, what, is that a threat? Right. Why would you right. say that? And she's talking about her her driver's license picture, Lorne, not the fact that she exists as a person. <laughs> You're like, hey, I don't want people to know I am a person. Please don't show them to catch a predator. That's not what she's concerned with. You, all right, Lorne, you sent, she sent you a driver's license picture. You then sent her someone else's driver's license picture. Do you understand the concern now? She's he worried you're going to share her driver's license picture with someone else. Lauren, does that make sense? Because I can't believe that he that his reply <laughs> was, I could have showed, 
Do you remember the show to catch a predator you were on? I could have just showed someone that, honey. Don't worry. <laughs> Fucking moron. That's not going to make anyone feel better because obviously he doesn't get it. He does not get it. And mm -hmm. he has your ID. Shush, have you? I don't know anyone from perverted justice on a personal level. I only volunteered for them a few times and donated what? to them. Yeah. I'm going to send you... Um... A picture of oh. uh, well, those you get every morning, but exactly. this is going to be a picture of what I'm talking about with the wall that he built. Oh, perfect. So, if you want to post that up there, so the audience when they see this, well, I'll, I would just put it added in the uh, in post. Uh, all right, you can keep going. <laughs> Your mouth would drop open at the information I have on them. You can let me know if you want to see it. That makes me feel so much better knowing that you don't have anything to do with them. I think they're actually the main people that are so obsessed with me online because they know I have a lot of information about them. Information about what? Want to send you the information I have on them? I can send some right now and then the rest tomorrow. It's information they have never wanted people to see. The information won't be in any specific order. I'll even send you information on the sting and textures where the prosecutor killed himself. Sure, you can send me the information. I love Casey's response. Prepare yourself. Some of the <laughs> stuff you're going to read will probably upset you, because it's not what you have expected. Wow, I can't believe that guy was a prosecutor and was still caught doing stuff like that. That is scary. I'm glad he's dead. It doesn't hurt my feelings <laughs> that he's dead either. The opposite effect of what Lauren was hoping for. I am glad he is dead. <laughs> It's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold, Casey. Wow. I can't believe that guy was a prosecutor and was still caught doing stuff right. like that. That is Did scary. I sure I'm glad he the died. Well, <laughs> with the pun box. Who gives a fuck if he's dead? I'm glad he's yeah. 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 dead. Well, that's but, not, what, that's not what he wanted to hear. But, no. But, but Casey, Casey, honey, honey, my little angel pie, you're talking to a pedophile. <laughs> Right, you see that right there too. Been another moment, and then he's like, "Okay, there's something." Wrong. She's, she's, she's talking to a pedophile, saying, "I'm glad that pedophile is dead." <laughs> and he's like, "I want to marry you." <laughs> he, he seriously thought that that was gonna get her to be like, "Oh my gosh, wow." What did I do? Is. They, yeah, they. Well, hold on. That's crazy. Hold on, dude. No, no, no. You're see, you're getting it wrong. Not to catch predator eye, because she wasn't a passive watcher. She was part of it. She was part of the right. problem. Lauren's about to show her that. Dude, the whole time, fucking internal affairs was in on it, Lauren. Internal <laughs> affairs was in on it. Did you get the picture I sent you? I did. Uh, I did. And that's a very small penis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please, please stop. Dude, those wow, pills surprise, aren't working. Surprise, I told you yeah. those. I told you those pills wouldn't work. They were they were just some bullshit and you bought them. And now you look, you, they're making a fool of you. They had, they had a picture of Rick and Morty on the package. <laughs> and, they, and they were smoking a blunt. Science. Science. Yeah. Science. Wait, you see how the door is diagonal? I'm gonna I'm gonna actually I'm gonna I'm gonna post it here real quick. But uh we're gonna go to about forty five uh, minutes. We got about eighteen minutes to go, and then we're gonna pause for today. Um, real quick, TLI, would you be willing to join us for part two of this? Oh, definitely, yeah. This is, we'll be, this is very it'll, fun. It'll probably be tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Let me see. Um, or Thursday. You know what? We'll figure that out later. Um, we'll yeah, yeah. Out. Either one would work, actually. Yeah, right. let me know. All right, cool. At the same time, we do live in the United States, and we have a constitution for a region. <laughs> there have been people that have been what? executed just to find out later that they were innocent. <laughs> Wait until you continue to read through all the stuff I'm about to send you. Not everything is as it appeared. Or was made to appear. He wasn't innocent though, so he deserved it. Well, the next set is cute, so I'm waiting for it to send. Tell me when you've done reading what I sent to you, and if the next set hasn't sent by then, I'll resend it one at a time. I already read what you sent me. No, he definitely wasn't innocent, but just like you see what the court says, he still had rights, and the way it all played out was not read. He was trying you to see more and more what I mean than with the more you read. I'm going. So, if anything, Lorne's argument about Lewis Conrad 
does not make Lorne look better. If he was trying to no. say the tactics that they used to get him, to, whatever, argue those tactics all you want. But the fact of the matter is that man killed himself because he was about to be outed as a predator. That's yeah, why that happened. Him. That's right. exactly why that happened. Regardless of their tactics, regardless of what they did, that's what he was doing. Lorne, on the other hand, they didn't come to Lorne's house. Chris wasn't out there or, or not out there, depending on who you ask. Lorne went to that house and showed up to have sex with a child. Lorne, whatever happened to Lewis Conrad and with whatever perverted justice does, you still did that shit. I just don't understand this argument that he keeps trying to have. And now he's arguing with someone who was a part of this. Thing. Right. And every time Casey says something like, I'm glad he's dead, he's like, well, yeah, yeah, I do too. Bah, bah. You know, we still have rights. Yeah. Yeah, but you have the right to remain silent while you laid there crying <laughs> on the ground. Sure, so I have to send them one of Get down. All right. Oh, uh, here's the uh here's the picture blue blue snap. Is it a penis? Oh, okay. No. Right. no. <laughs> nice, sorry. It's, it's even worse, actually. <laughs> All right. So that's the <laughs> what truck. is that? Yeah, he tore half that wall down just to put that door diagonally like that because he thought that like made it look cooler. What? Instead of just is being that... flat. Wait, hold on. Is that plastic on the roof? What is that? Or That's it, where? Where do you see that? I can't. It looked like the edge. It might be snow because it's really small it's, on this, on this screen snow. here. I, I, but so he tore. He did all that for some cosmetic shit. While the inside has like holes in the walls and yeah, the floor is missing in parts. But make you got to make that door diagonal. And he left that other wall like still there. So there's a weird little corner. Yeah, that's weird. Like, it makes no sense. No, it's very strange. It, it, there's, I'm sure there are other things he could have been doing to improve that trailer, and this is not, this is not one of them. All right, let's um, take this bullshit down. We get back. Time, I think. He did have rights, and he could have went to court, but he chose to kill himself instead of spending the rest of his life in prison because he knew what he did was going to ruin his life and career. I don't feel bad about anything that happened to him. I agree, and I don't feel Those bad for him either. I don't give a anyway. Fuck. I know, I but the funny part is is that, like, Lorne, what Lewis Conrad did, I mean, just saying, Lorne, think about it. Like, yeah. He could have he could have went to court and went to prison yeah. for five years and then got out and got catfished a bunch of times. But instead, yeah. <laughs> I want to debate it. He was a piece of shit. But those were things about the whole thing that was messed up. Think it's important for you to know, just for a forewarning, that there is really a lot of things that you're going to learn that you never knew. I need to take more pics to send you more. How long do you want to read tonight? Let me know when you're caught up. Then I'll take pics of the next one and send it. And that will give you a break. The next one starts with a lawsuit against perverted justice. Where is the evidence? Other than the prosecutor stuff, in which I believe he deserved everything that happened to him, the other pages are just printouts of articles accusing them of things without providing any real proof. I'm just keeping an open mind. I don't know all of what you because I haven't read it in a long time. So I'm just taking pics and sending it to you, but if you've read the part yet about perverted justice going against court orders to hand over evidence to computers so they could be examined, then when the authorities go to finally get the computers, they have all happened to crash. That alone tells everything. How There's a lot does more that matter you when read, you tried to fuck a child? You'll see that there was... What's that? What's like the... Rel like, okay, who gives a shit? You tried to have sex with a kid. That whatever perverted justice did, it doesn't really matter. So, it's almost like what Lorne is trying to do. He believes he's in court, and he just has, if he can make you question the ethics of perverted justice, then the whole thing should be thrown out. Like forget, forget what I did. Forget you know me, all the things that I did. Let's talk about the facts that they maybe weren't the best people. So he's like trying to get off on a technicality. Well, it's just it's I'm gonna throw he's gonna throw dirt at them. And so if he makes you question the character of them, that maybe they did lure Lorne. 
maybe there are some pages that were lost where he said no and they tricked him to convince him because if you didn't know these other things casey like just imagine this is the stuff that they found just imagine the treasure trove information out there that they didn't find like those missing pages from my chat log where they threatened casey they told me if i didn't go there they were going to kill my dog <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to go, Casey. The oh, deleted Casey, chat. Casey hates dogs. You ha- Casey, you have to believe they were going to kill my dog. I went out there, and th- so when I asked you for a kiss, I wanted to whisper in your ear and ask you if it was safe. You never gave me that chance, <laughs> and I ended up, I never, and I never threw you under the bus. I took that, because I'm a man. But Casey, it's time for you to repay me. I need some potato. And she's like, okay, you're right. I owe you some potato, because that's what Lawrence calls the pussy. Ooh, um, right. You know? And so, Which is it, terrible. It's just, it's <laughs> a potato. Uh, so yeah, I I just I I just think it's it's crazy that you know it's not this isn't Debbie because he tried this with Debbie too. I remember him you know like going through this whole shit. This isn't um, Debbie that you're trying to pull this shit on. This is a person who was there. Yeah, someone who was worked with that crew. And it's almost like she wants him to apologize. She wants her. To apologize to him for being a part of it and not knowing what she was getting involved with yeah you know yeah, tli like how he's trying to make her feel bad how people make you feel about the whole taliban thing tli like yeah like that, that whole thing i mean yeah it's exactly <laughs> like that <laughs> <laughs> it's just like me because i'm in the taliban and everyone knows and acknowledges <laughs> There's not much that was read about their behavior. Do you want to read more tonight, or do you want to wait until tomorrow? But that was just from an article. There isn't any proof of any of that actually happening. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it holds much weight. Whatever went on behind the scenes doesn't really matter to me much since it is over now. I still think they provided a good service to the community. The one that had the information was a volunteer for perverted justice. Did you want to read more tonight or or save it for tomorrow? I only want to read the stuff that has the actual evidence. You say you're keeping an open mind, but it seems like you don't want to believe that they did anything wrong. (laughs) Did you know they had child porn on their computers? Or that Von Erk did some weird dating thing on some site that I can't remember the name of, but that he tried to convince the mother to let their daughter get involved? The mother put that on our comment section of our profile. You want to read only stuff with evidence, but when it comes from someone from inside perverted justice, it's pretty much proof, considering there's no other way someone could find out so much information. And all that I show you is what I have. Some is from court staff, some is from corrupted justice, but they could have provided a good service if it was someone that actually believed in what they were doing. Von Erk did not. He said it himself that he didn't like kids. He just liked attention. I wanted people to work his way. Dr. Seuss didn't like kids. He didn't like kids. No, it's it's true. It's true. Dr. Seuss didn't like kids. He still wrote kids, but you know what he didn't do? He didn't try and fuck them. As far as I know, Dr. Seuss never Uh, showed up to it. I will not fuck them on a plane. I will not fuck them on a train. (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Hanson, that is wild. I am not here to fuck a child. (laughs) Mr. <laughs> Mr. Seuss, you're free to leave. <laughs> um, yeah, he didn't like he didn't like kids. Uh, just because just because Xavier doesn't like kids doesn't mean that he likes pedophiles. <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't want like, kids, but I don't want you know what I mean. That doesn't mean I'm cool with people trying to right. Fuck them. Like and like Casey didn't like dogs, but she wasn't like I wish people would go kick dogs in the street. Right. She's, she's Actually, didn't like she might have said that at one point. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> Just, why would just, you? Really why would you, why would you say that you're a woman? <laughs> you're a fucking woman. He, or he would throw it fit. A hundred thousand dollars per episode. It's a hell of an incentive to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Did you know that Xavier von Erk's real name is Philip Ede? If it's okay, <laughs> oh I'm going to wait to send more to you tomorrow. You okay? I say keep an open mind, meaning I won't judge them or anyone for that matter without evidence or proof of wrongdoing. I'm not saying they didn't do anything wrong or that they did anything wrong. What you provided were just articles accusing them of things, but no actual evidence proving that is what happened. Shouldn't that be how things work? 
people could say anything, but that doesn't mean it's bad. You can't charge someone for stealing just because someone said that they did. Exactly. Like, you need evidence of crime. Also. I think that but you is can just say that. fair and reasonable. That is okay. I don't need to see. What was that? I think it's like Casey's point. Like people say all the time that I'm a racist, right? But it's not fact just because someone but, says that. Well, well, it's not fact until I show them the screenshots. Then it becomes fact. well, yeah. But I can deny it until then. For yeah, for right. Okay, let's just say this for right now. Blue Boy's allegedly racist. <laughs> when there you go. When, I like it when the like video that. comes out in two weeks, you're a confirmed. We'll racist. see what happens. And you hate poor people. <laughs> yeah, I hate poor people. I'm just a terrible person. <laughs> see anything else? You're very right, and it's very true. I also know that I don't like him because of the things I know about Hum. Plus, Hum and his cronies sent me stupid stuff in the mail. And we have a 10 mile yard sale every year here on my road, and it's a big one at my house, because my family also sets up tables to sell stuff. Those thousands of people that go through in two days' time, including out of staters. I think it was Von Erd that was here at my house at the yard sale this year. I've never seen him in person. Have you? Here's more call papers for you. Why do you have all these papers? I had five years of incarceration. I'm not known for sitting on my butt when something feels off. What I did was so wrong, and I take responsibility for that and condemn myself for it every day. But I won't let it define. I used to see Lord going into court with this old briefcase just stuffed with shit he printed off the internet years ago. Yeah. And they weren't, they weren't like anything. Just the, those articles. They were literally screenshots. Oh, I know, and and there are things like the the corrupted justice, the thing that he that he considers this ace in the hole, the corrupted justice. That's not some thing he found on the dark web or that was snuck out of North Korea. It was a it was just an episode of a uh, twenty twenty, a competing network, who because of the success of To Catch a Predator, and then the the suicide the Lewis Conrad thing. They saw an opportunity, so they made a show to talk shit about To Catch a Predator and Perverted Justice and and the controversy around it. And so Lorne sees that as, oh my God. And so now he loves he he loves that show and he loves that Corrupted Justice talked about some of these issues, but it still doesn't change the fact. None of that changes the fact that Lorne showed up to that to that sting house to do what he did. None of it. He also had screenshots of did um, what is his name? Vince Nicotra, is that his name? Did he have like yeah. a blog? No. Then who was? There was someone who had a blog that Lauren had screenshots of. What, what did it say? Oh, I don't know. I don't nice. remember now. Yeah. Very descriptive. <laughs> Very descriptive. Thank Forget you. Forget to say anything. Edit that part out when you upload this. <laughs> <laughs> If things hadn't happened the way they did, and it was only law enforcement involved, I would have just sucked it up and did my time and not looked into anything. But it didn't happen that way, and the things they were doing when they arrested me were just too far out of line. Then I was in jail for 18 months before being moved to prison. During that time, my mom found some things, and I started doing my own research. The sheriff that arrested me was the same one that transported me from the jail to the first prison I was at recognized me and we talked a little. He told me that if he knew that NBC was going to be there, he would never agree to work that night. That convinced me to dig more. I had so many of my civil rights violated, it was pitiful. And NBC was giving directions to the cops, even on where to stand me, so they could get the good shot. And that wasn't the only thing that they did. But I'll save more for tomorrow, if you want to know about it. But right now, my eyes are starting to close. Good night. I'm sorry for being so tired right now. Oh yeah, I think I gave a long answer, so a short one would be because they were a part of my research and legal work on my case. That's just a small amount. I had two more boxes that I burned. That case was 14 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, of you course have... they were getting direction from the cops. They were working together. <laughs> well, actually, they made it very clear they were running... Uh, con- they were running concurrent investigations, right? So the police right, were exactly. doing their investigation. That's because that's the way they got around it. The police were doing their own investigation. 
and to catch a predator in a parallel investigation while they recorded, which is how law enforcement got involved. So, yes, they were taking, but when Lauren's talking about them taking direction from to catch a predator, that's very specifically taken from the corrupted. We should watch, do we should react to the cor- corrupted justice special when this at one point? Oh, um, we should. We really should. But so he's taking that from there. But what he's really trying to bring up is the whole B roll thing that he complains about when he was at his truck and they've got like the camera and they put it between his legs or whatever. Because yeah. they wanted B roll for the show, and he's like, "Well, they shouldn't be able to. Obviously, I should be let go. They, I was putting my head between my legs, and they right. touched me with the camera." I just hate like none of this matters, Lauren. It, it does. In, in other countries, there. you sh- go ahead. Sorry. No, just I just don't get it. I'm just in, in some countries. If he showed up to do this, he wouldn't be alive the next day. And this man is complaining that well, but these they weren't great people. They touched me with the camera. The police were. They were making a hundred thousand. None of his excuses changed the fact that even without to catch a predator there, without perverted just, without Chris Hansen, he was still a pedophile trying to have sex with a child. Yeah, they, yeah, that's it. They didn't care about kids. They were just doing it for the money. Right. That's well, like saying you shouldn't pay like a surgeon because yeah, unless they're, they're there not, because they, you know, they're doing it for the right reason. Out of the goodness of their they're heart. They're not right. You should be doing it just because you're a nice guy. Not yeah. because you get paid a bunch of money to be a surgeon. Yeah, it's pretty shitty of you. It's pretty selfish of you. Good night. Good morning. I think I've got to use another hour or two of sleep, but once I'm awake, it's not likely I can get back to sleep, so guess I'm up for the day. What kind of music do you like? I'm singing. I'm playing my guitar right now. I'm done playing guitar and singing. It's been a while since I played my guitar, so my fingertips start hurting. I like hip hop because it is what I like dancing to. I looked at all the documents you sent me and I don't know. I'm just not buying it. It's all accusations with no proof. Either way, I still enjoyed my time volunteering for them and they provided the platform that launched my acting career. So I'm grateful for that. I had a lot more stuff on them, but those two boxes I burned, that's where I had most of it. I just got tired of it eating at me and wanted to move forward. Unfortunately, they don't. And they are the ones that continue the online crap about me. They continue sending me stupid things in the mail. And you certainly didn't need them to launch your acting career. In my opinion, you would have gone further without them. Your opinion. But I've had some admiration. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, what are you talking about? Are you an agent? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, like it literally means nothing. You don't know that. Well, first of all, he doesn't know what her career is now anyway, right? No. It's not like you know Casey Morrow is uh is doing a lot of sitcoms and it, so the idea she would, you would have been even better off with why does he think that she's right, been blacklisted? Like, yeah, yeah. Well, because There's no you evidence know, to suggest that she'd be better off. She played a pretty good, you know, thirteen year old to Lauren, so she didn't really need that show. You know. <laughs> show, right? you know? <laughs> That wouldn't have helped out. She was doing perfectly fine. Now she's typecast, forever typecast as a 13-year-old in a sting house. And it's hard to find other work when you're in your 30s as a 13-year-old in a sting house. <laughs> well, um, yeah, that is that is that is fucking insane. If he knew anything about the show, he would know that Casey Morrow was plucked out of obscurity. She, had, she wasn't supposed to be on the show. Her grandma owned that house. And they were looking for a decoy in the area. Her dad suggested Casey, and they hired her on the spot. Right, it was so literally Lauren, because of the show that she's not had any yeah, success this, at all. This is a Hollywood fucking story right here, and now you two are completing the chapter by you know, getting together. That would be the ultimate wedding story. Yeah, imagine having to tell people, like, oh, so how'd you two meet? Well, and, well okay. Like, First off, my grandma owns a very big house on the <laughs> beach, and then I met a pedophile. <laughs> Yada yada yada. I mean, a pedophile. <laughs> then and now we're married. And for you for a long time, so that may make me a little prejudiced too. Do you like any country music? Eddie's pop and country is what I like. I respect all types of music though, because it's the words behind them that make the song. Did you know that most people thought you was nineteen when you did that show, including me? No, I don't like country music at all, or 80s pop. 
I like the new stuff, like Cardi B, Lil Wayne, and the baby. The show definitely helped. The The baby. I didn't hear any whole notes in there, though. (laughs) Yeah, the baby. The baby. No, no whole notes though. Mm-mm, nope. If you listen to them, you'd be like, "Oh, okay, yeah, I like this." You keep talking about whole notes today. I'm just saying, like, I, I you kind of like, white like, man. He's white most. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about who's it's the like boss great. next, or what's he? <laughs> listen, who's the boss was a pretty good show, and Judith Light was an amazing uh, character. No, character of course, actors. of course, he got that locked. <laughs> And then Danny Pintaro, Danny Pintaro, who was also in Cujo, he was one of the first actors in Hollywood to come out of the closet. Wow. So, yeah, at a time before that was like a big thing in the late 90s, I believe, mid to late 90s. So, anything else you want to know about who's the boss? Do you just just ask Siri all these questions throughout the day? (laughs) No, no, do I? No, do I? I, No, I just. uh, You just know all these random facts about. Yeah, just have these random random facts about. TV. They weren't random. This was a top ten show. Do Tony Danza is <laughs> random? Come on, Tony now, Danza is now random. Look at you, now Alyssa Milano's <laughs> random. Get the fuck out of here. Here, got me more acting jobs. I still get recognized for my time on the show. It's so great. People get so excited when they see me at the store and stuff. What do you mean you've admired me? Oh no, who is most people? I thought I was a convincing little girl. I look younger than I am. Before I wander too far away from the perverted gesture subject, I should probably add that I'm a firm believer of not everything is as it seems. Yes, Lauren, you, you I don't know that. if they have, have it now or not, but they used to have another site named evavigilantes.com too. And that night, regardless of what I said in my chat log, I had planned on going out to my favorite karaoke club with my friends. <laughs> it was my birthday. And they were going to buy me drinks all night. It was at the very last minute that I got pathetic and went to the Sting House. <laughs> what I would give to go back in time and redo so many. Yo, pathetic does not describe. <laughs> yeah, that, it's really pathetic. Something but like begging, begging someone to to go home with you or, or begging someone to, to spend time with you. Yeah, that you could say that's pathetic, but. Going to the sting house to try and have sex, with, and then you ended up in prison for five years. That's not pathetic. That's tragic. That's a fucking. That was a. It was a life altering decision that yeah. you made. That every day you kick yourself for not making another. Day. Just be honest with it. Be on. It was the biggest fucking mistake in my life, and I regret do it you, every day. Do you think he actually had plans that he bailed on, or do you think no? Fuck, do you think dude, he he the way he was looking forward to that meeting, there was no way he would have planned it. If he would have had a surgery the next day, he would have blew that <laughs> shit off because he was going to meet his child girlfriend. So you like, don't there's think no he had f- any friends that were like, no. Lord, come out with us tonight. We're gonna buy you drinks. Do we we saw how Lauren's life was because he documented it day by day and there wasn't like, oh, I'm hanging out. The only time he talked about going to hang out in karaoke is if he was trying to make her like jealous. And, and, you know, the only reason Lorne didn't become a country music star is because he took his eyes off the prize. Yeah, Lorne, remember why you're in Nashville. It wasn't because Nashville. he robbed an elderly couple and no. to, to bail and out you, of town. You're there to <laughs> fulfill a dream. That's still the best part of the whole thing, is that if Lorne doesn't rip off Durango Mango, he never leaves town in shame, and he's never in uh, fucking Nashville yeah, for that sting. But I think... I- Lauren getting caught was inevitable, I think. Yes, though, okay. All right. Y'all, go ahead, please. But you're right, and, like, it would not have been televised at the exactly. very least. You know, people get caught every day, and especially back then. People get people get caught all the time, and we wouldn't know who Lauren was. He would just be some dude. Wow, and we all wouldn't be best friends. And, and you, <laughs> you, also, you, also have, <laughs> you also have to think, too, the other thing is that it was the very last episode. If Lauren could have just fucked Durango Mango over a month later, he never. Right. Was oh, that's just true too. He just waited. Because he, yeah, he was he was there he was there such a short time before the whole chat before the chat log started, and then he was and then he went to and then he went to jail. A couple weeks, a Man. couple weeks, and Lorne is is, you know, I'm, I'm sure maybe he does get caught, maybe he does get caught, but it's definitely not what it is now. And that's why he even says it. 
the the perverted justice shouldn't have been there. It shouldn't have been a TV thing because he knows that was the fuck up. Even if you didn't get convicted, if you don't go to jail, you're still the dude. No one looks at them any differently whether they went to jail or not. Right. Play things differently. I've never heard of the baby. <laughs> I've heard of the other two though. I'm amazed that you don't like today's country. You look like the type of person that would like today's country. Why? And you do look you younger than what you like are. I do too. Awesome, isn't it? Well, what does someone look like if they enjoy today's country? Like you know, I think a woman. A yoga, in a, I don't think a country music. Right? Yeah, but Lorne, you know, creates all these these images of her in his mind because he mm. just sits there and fantasizes all day long about these women and just comes up with character traits for them by himself. So she just she hops in her Mazda Miata on the beach because everything in California is on the beach and she's blasting some rascal flats driving down the road. Yeah, and Lauren just sits there probably thinking about that all day long. And he's like, or maybe she's even playing some. She's playing. She's getting in the country now because of Lauren. So she's like experimenting. And that would make Lauren really happy. You want to do some experimenting for me? Oh God! <laughs> but the way that you hold yourself, your intelligence shows in your eyes. Like what? That's is that just mean? a really hard thing to hide because it's hmm. How do I explain this? You seem really. It's easy smart. to see you trying to read a person. Like he says that it's easy to see that you're trying to read a person. All you have seen is her driver's license photo. Yeah, but it's a hot photo. But he's like, I, I can tell you, you're trying to read a person and how how deep you are. It's like you don't know any of this shit. It's yeah, it's all it's all weak. It's it's such weak game. Tli, did you change your microphone? I think it's AirPods. Yeah, sorry, I, I had to hop out to head to uh, my job. But I, uh, I'm still here. Oh, see, I didn't even realize the mall was open this late. But I guess when you're at night security, <laughs> you know, like some, no, some I, of... I, I, I'm actually a prostitute now. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like straight up sucking it for cash now. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Turn the Lord call up. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear it over the. Is over that clobber? <laughs> Clobber? <laughs> That's something the more mature person does, so it's hard to hide it. And you don't like any country musical pop, oh then, I guess. It's a bad idea for me to ever sing to you. Lol. Oh, yeah. I forgot to answer one of your questions. I seen you dancing some years back, and it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to be able to dance as well as you do. That is really weird. You haven't even met me, so I don't know how you think you know those things about me. Casey, are you forgetting that I sat in the chair across from you at the sting house? As for your dancing, I... all right. Wow, how was that your response to how we know each other? Are you forgetting I sat across from you with that sting house? <laughs> That's like something you would write in a sitcom. That's not something you would say in real life. That is really weird. You haven't met me. How do you think you know those things about me, Casey? Are you forgetting that I sat at, sat in the chair across from you at the sting house? She was a child. She was probably scared because there's a pedophile sitting across from her. And, you know, they had to be on their toes because they didn't know what he was going to do. I don't think she thought about that as a romantic first meeting. That wasn't a meet cute. That's insane. Are you guys still there? Oh, yeah. I'm here. Yeah, TLI, you can get back to what you're doing. <laughs> I'm just walking. Yeah. <laughs> doing Arctic Tundra. Doing a podcast. Now, I already told you about seeing you on a YouTube video. I watched about five years ago with a group of other dancers. And I barely recognize you because you had curly hair. Does it still sound weird? Lol. You think weird. you can tell all that? about me because you sat across from me for five minutes 14 years ago? Yes. That seems pretty weird. I was playing a character. It was five minutes for you. You have no idea how many times I had to replay that whole thing over and over and over in my head. And then again from the video, you did a good job acting, but my head was so messed up at the time that I couldn't see past my nose. The more I played it over in my head, the more I realized the things I should have been able to see long before I went to the house. 
I was not even close to in my right frame of mind. So whatever you do, don't take any offense to what I've said. It was not meant to be offensive. And I'm going to bed. Thinking about that whole thing is just really a depressing thing for me. And it really sucks that that is the way you first met me. If you don't mind from now on, I would like to steer away from Anthony about that show and get to know each other for who we are now. Please. Good morning, beautiful lady. I'll find out today if I got the job I interviewed for on Saturday. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Okay. okay. Somebody sent me something that weighs 36.2 pounds. It doesn't say who sent it, but it's from Amazon. People are freaking nuts. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, it is. I think it's funny, too. Why would anybody send anything to someone they don't even know? Not. It must have cost a lot to send it, too. Well, what is it? Someone sent me an 11-pound bag of dog food and a box full of dog toys from my dogs a few months ago. It's so odd. I don't know yet. It is supposed to be delivered tomorrow. I got their message in my email that it's coming by UPS. I'm still not 100% positive that I have that job yet, but it's looking really, really good. Good for you. You've been so quiet, I didn't think you were still around. What do you mean? I was only it kidding. It's email, dude. I haven't said... <laughs> I mean, he could just say you're not really responding a lot. Do you not want yeah. to talk? <sighs> like, still around. He thinks that she is also, like, sitting down and writing back emails, not doing anything else like he is. Yes. Well, he's waiting Idiot. for replies. That's that's something. He's waiting yeah. for replies and thinking and thinking about what the reply to his message will be so that he can pre-craft the reply in his head, but she's not giving him anything that he's expecting to reply back to. And it's throwing him off. You might know Harry Caravello from the cult classic movie, Windy City Heat. But in 1992, he was known for something else, being a bad sex negotiator. Hi, I'm attorney Wes Most. In 1992, you could buy SAG vouchers for just $100 a piece. That year, Perry sucked off RC three times for three SAG vouchers. That's only $100 per gum shot, less than half their retail value. Don't be a Perry. I should have called West most. If you or someone you know needs to negotiate oral, vaginal, hand, feet, or butt stuff, give my office a call. Because your dignity is priceless, unless you're Perry. I love sucking dick! And then it's worth about $100 per blowjob. Call Wes Most today. Before you suck cock, we need to talk. Proud owner of the 1992 story. Next time I will call Wes Most. Uh, you still there, Sloth Cat? Yeah, I'm still here. All right, just making, just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not hey, um, doing an extra job like uh, TLI. You know. Yeah, well, thank you. That's I appreciate. I appreciate you saving your dick sucking for after the stream. <laughs> so it'd be kind of hard for you to respond if I haven't said much myself. Have you ever been to Maine? Yes, I've been there once. It's very cold. It's only cold in the winter. The summertime is hot and nice. Is that how it works? No, what did you do when you were here? Is that how it works? I went snowboarding. That's, how it works. That's the only thing works. you did. You missed out on snowmobiling. And so many things in the summer? Yes, I was only there for a week. Don't you live in Bowling Green? Yeah, not hardly, <laughs> Lord. You really haven't caught up on anything about me, have you? Wow, I truly am amazed. You already said You know, that. if you dial star 67, then my number, you would be able to call me, and it would come up as restricted. I wouldn't know your number. Just a thought for you to ponder, lol. I live in Maine. I was living in Nashville when the sting happened. Why would I have caught up on you? To be honest, I totally forgot you even existed. Wow. Believe it or not, it's a relief to me for you to say that. So many people have gotten obsessed with me, it's weird. It's like this UPS delivery tomorrow. I don't understand anything about the way people are behaving to me. Some good and some bad, but it seems like they all want to see me so they can have a picture and put it up on YouTube or for whatever other reason they have. Yeah. It's just weird. Yeah, that is weird. Okay. Which one of us spelled the word weird wrong? You dumb well, fuck. You're spelling it wrong. <laughs> Are you sure? I before E except after C. Does that rule apply in that one? And this is why he's 87. <laughs> this, is, this is why he's 87. You know, Lord, that, that rule is, it's, it's, it's not a hard and fast rule. 
Uh, <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> well, which one of us is spelling it wrong? Um, me, the fucking moron, or <laughs> you? You, the person with probably a smartphone that does some sort of spell check. <laughs> TLI, we only have about four more minutes. Um, yeah, can you so stop? You know. Stop sucking well, no, dick. Stop. Come on, he's gonna stop. <laughs> focus, focus. He's gonna, five... This man has but, a quota. Uh, yeah. He's not gonna. Stop. No, I'm not. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I'm doing it like a DJ then, like after a basketball game. So I'm just waiting for the game to be. Over. So I'm just standing here. Are you at the but, yeah. Are you at the YMCA? No, I'm, I'm at a I'm at a bar. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's at the karaoke bar. <laughs> Are you gonna buy Lord drinks all night? Is that what's going on tonight? Yeah. All right. Fuck you, T.Y. Word. <laughs> Lol. Yes, I'm sure. I just looked it up on your eat. No wonder I didn't win the spelling bee when I was in school. Mm. Guess I should have paid attention instead of passing notes. Lol. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I'm right, going dude. to sleep now. I guess. Oh, good night. Good. good morning, beautiful lady. Ha uh ha. -huh, good morning. I'm missing something. What's the ha ha for? Lol. Well, because you have only seen my driver's license photo. How do you know I'm beautiful? You were beautiful when I saw you in person. Dude. You're beautiful in your driver's license photo. I can't imagine there's much of a change between then and... I can't say that. Does he... I don't understand. He's just completely fucking tone deaf. You cannot say that, Lauren. She was supposed to be a child. You got arrested for trying to meet her. She was supposed to be a Fuck child. Fucking Christ, man. You were beautiful when I saw you in person. Yeah, don't. Ugh. He he needs to just never mention that night ever. 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 And, and really, he shouldn't talk to anyone who was in any way associated with it, because it will always come up. Oh, you cut out, man. I can't hear you now. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Blue boy? You can hear me, Sloth Cat? Yeah, I can hear you. So it's Blue Boy who's fucked up. Oh, and then he dropped out. <laughs> Figures. Yeah. Black. And now. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't even sound black. <laughs> out here and see me in person, then I can verify my statement. Lol. Good morning, beautiful lady. You didn't respond to my last email. I hope I didn't scare you with my response to email. I was only being playful, lol. Although seeing you in person certainly wouldn't hurt my feelings, lol. Good morning. No, oh, I'm just man. a very busy person and don't read all my emails. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Just, you just embarrassed yourself, that's all. So nothing new. Um, what, uh, while this was going on, you know, like in the early, do you remember what was going on with Jamie at the same time? Um, they were fighting over the whole Rod thing. During this, and that was a, a long argument. And he, so, like, he didn't tell. Did he tell Jamie that he was talking to Casey at this time? He did. He, he he did, but um, I can't remember exactly how it went. But he kind of explains it earlier, where he's like, "I'm not telling her exactly how much we're talking yeah. her that it's only through email." I thought he said that he, later. I thought yeah, he said that a little later. He was trying to make her jealous, though. Yeah. And I, Jamie did not act jealous. Jamie did not care. Because on these days when you know when he's a little more flirty, I'm just wondering if that was because there were more fights going on with um, Jamie, so he was no, not from what I remember. I think he that's just the natural progression of things for Lauren. Like, all right, it's been three weeks. Now I can start asking her what color her panties are. You know, well, I mean, three weeks—that's a long time for Lauren. Yeah, by three, you know, by I'm three surprised weeks, he you waited should, this long. Because yeah, by three weeks, you that. should be plotting your move to Cornville. Yeah, well, he's already asking her to come visit. Yeah, from the very beginning. Like, it's yeah. crazy how fast he starts with the whole, when are you going to come out? We just need to get you out here thing. And he does that, the text messages, he, I don't want to spoil anything really, but he, he really does start hammering that almost instantly. Like the, you got to come up here now. Like, you got to meet me. Now, I heard because of your pedal phone, you're releasing the text message videos 10 seconds at a time. Is that true? Yeah, and they're, and you're not going to be able to see the text messages because, like Wes pointed out, my pedal phone, does, it's not high quality. <laughs> so just 10 second, so be 10 be... second videos. Guys, be on the lookout for 10 second text message videos coming out on yeah. the Voice channel. Out, out of order. Because that's they another... Yeah, the texts are going to be just all over the fucking place. Because I'm, I'm just the worst. I did not... Do I listen to the uh I listen to the complete Casey? I mean, Blue Boy, you know, because I was 
over the weekend, I listened to the complete Casey series in chronological order. And holy shit, it's completely different when you listen in order. Yeah, I'm an idiot for not doing that the first time. You could have just stopped. You could have just stopped at the "I'm an idiot" part. You know what I mean? <laughs> everything. You, everything you else. Stop being rude to your guests, man. We're never coming back here. <laughs> this is why no one comes yeah. back. This exactly is why. why. This is why Sloth Cat and I quit every single fucking time. Uh, look, TLI is out sucking a cock right now because he couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you, you kept cutting them off. You're gonna treat me like a dick. I'm gonna go put one in my mouth. <laughs> so I guess, uh, I guess TLI showed us. <laughs> <laughs> um oh, wait yeah. you shouldn't whoa, skip whoa, over my man minor all right go ahead what were we talking about nothing oh never mind no uh, no we were talking about what were we talking about we were um, done talking okay. oh we were done all right <laughs> we was done talking now that's a black man are <laughs> <laughs> important Plus, I'm a good-looking guy that calls you beautiful lady. Lol. Thanks. Wow. That was very kind of you to say. You're welcome. And regardless of my ignorance in the past, I've been known to be a kind person and fun. I dad that in there. Lol. What do you like oh, to do for so fun? Gross. Gross. Singing, so bad skiing, snowmobiling, hiking, camping, pretty much anything outdoors that I when can do with someone else. I like some indoor stuff, too, like bowling and moving. Well, what thinks he... about doing those? I mean, I, I'm not reading the screen, but looking at, let me see. He likes singing. Okay, he he does that. Skiing, yeah. I don't think he's ever done. Snowmobiling, there's no way. Hiking no. and camping, he doesn't do those. I'm sure he has at one point done some hiking. Possibly he's walked camp. outside. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 But he's not. He's not hiking. He's not like plotting out and going up a trail. Right. And, he uh, once slept in his truck to hide from people driving down the street. I guess well, that's you know, kind of camping. The, he, he was in the military. Like, we, we do in basic training, Air Force basic training. Uh, actually, he wasn't even there during Warrior Week, so I don't know if he actually went to the field ever. So, I mean, not maybe not in the Air Force. He... This, this part's even more weird. I like some indoor stuff, too. Bowling and movies. Volleyball. Yeah, dude. What? Yeah, because he's not a beach volleyball guy. Are you kidding? He's going to be digging into the sand and setting him from spikes? I'm not, no, even, no, no. I'm not even talking about the fact that he considers that an indoor sport. I'm talking about the fact, when does he ever go vol? When does he ever do that or has ever talked about that? You're just, you're, I, you know what? I think he's he's probably thinking, what do women like? Oh, they love volleyball. <laughs> so I'm going to say and, I like volleyball. And he says or he, how he says, um, I like bowling, but then... There's that Casey call where he's talking about how probation wants him to go bowling and he doesn't want to do it. Well, yeah, he, but there's a very specific reason he doesn't want to do that. Why was there's, that? Well, because he can't talk to any of the teenagers there. So what's the point? <laughs> he can't they hang out by, jobs. He can't hang out by like Rad Racer or Galaxa or whatever the but fuck that is. They had suggested he join a bowling league. They were pushing that because they were like, Lauren, you need to like get out into the world you don't do anything you sit here yeah. all day long all you do when you come into class is talk about your catfish you know so you need to get some like outside hobbies so i want to say they did recommend bowling and he he said no he's not doing that so he said he would take his mom uh to play bingo and then he didn't end up doing that after all well, yeah, there's definitely not any teenagers at Bingo, so why would he do that? They wanted him to meet people his own age, and uh, Lauren doesn't want to do that. He wants no, these young party old. girls. Like, that's another thing, too. If he were to ever had, like, let's say Jamie was real. How would he, this man at 53, would even be able to keep up with that woman's lifestyle? You figure that out when she gets here. I, Just like I, the I, toilet? We'll figure yeah, out the like, toilet once you're here. <laughs> Do that, you know, love in in Lauren's mind. You know that love will fi you'll figure that part out. Yeah. Um, and maybe when she gets there, she'll realize that all that partying and stuff wasn't really what she wanted to do after all. She wants to sit around and play cards with mom. She, well, she wants to, like, yeah, enjoy the love of a good man who's going to take you. You know what? Maybe I don't have all the money in the world, but I, I fucking come home at night, don't I? And and you know he would he would expect her to fall in line. Well, he don't leave what? in a day, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He would just be there. Exactly. He'll just be there. Wake <laughs> up there. Go to bed there. Movies, volleyball, love my dogs. I love taking Roscoe to do things, but 
it constructs me from doing things with Roscoe because Sadie is so skittish and Roscoe is her security blanket. What do you like to do for fun? I like yoga, meditation, skateboarding, dancing, fitness, cooking, and going for drinks with friends on the weekend. I hate dogs. <laughs> I cannot stand being around them. Purposefully made her Cut. someone he should just not want to be with in general. Yes. Like, yeah. He should see, like, all these things, like, okay, we have nothing in common. So perhaps this is not something, like, a normal person would think that. Like, okay, I have nothing in common with this person. I probably shouldn't try to date them. But not hey, one. He, he sees this as, like, a... I feel like so much has been done with the catfish over the years, you know? At mm-hmm. a certain point, you, got, you, you want to do something new. And with Casey... Like, so Winnie was crazy. Right. Winnie was fucking crazy, so... They had a lot of things different about them, but like they were, she was crazy, so Lauren can just write it off as she'll be better once she's here and my love fixes her. But like Casey just doesn't like anything about who he is as a person. No, completely and, and just opposite in every opposite way. Whatever interests, they nothing in common. She's mean. Purposely says everything he says she likes, she makes the point to tell him, I don't like that. Yeah. And if you were meeting someone and telling them all your interests, and they made it a point to tell you how they don't like all of your interests, that person is not interested in you. They are specifically telling you, we are oil and water, we don't mix. Well, sometimes oil and water make a vinaigrette. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I mean, he does say something pretty close to that. Oh, no. Corny no. bullshit. I know. <laughs> we're coming up on it, I think. <laughs> oh, it, it's on the next. I think it's on the next one. Kind of like saying he and you're saying ha. I love Christmas, you don't. I love dogs, you don't. A match meant to be, lol. Yes, haha, it appears we have nothing in common. You know what the strange thing is? The statistics say that those who have the least in common are usually the best fit to be together. I'm Damn, are we to... winning here or what? Lol. Exactly. You know who, who does think that? People who own the only relationships that they see is on TV and in movies. Because that's how it works in TV and movies. Or the Paula Abdul song, Opposites Attract. And he's yeah, MC he's... Scat Cat, or whatever the fuck. Because, <laughs> no, if you believe that you, in order to find your partner, you need to find someone who has the exact opposite uh, interests as you, you're a fucking idiot. That way things are never boring. Yeah, because we hate everything I hate. I love, she hates. It's always fun. Right. Lauren, get in a relationship like, like, like that. Queens me, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, that yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you nitpick at each other during the day, but you really love each other and you give each other a kiss at the end of the night. God, he's Whoa. fucking gay. Well, I don't know if he's gay. TLI, can you spit the cock out of your mouth and tell us uh, <laughs> if you think Lauren is gay? He's, like, gay. he's gay. Yes. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just what was yeah, that? I'm, I'm, I'm on Blue Boy's side. Okay, so Blue Boy's side. Okay. Oh, we got about a minute left, TLI. Oh, great. Yeah. Great, amazing. Oh, really? Where did you see that statistic? The book I've statistic? actually read that in a few different places a different, few different and heard it on the evening news. <laughs> and I'm betting you've heard it. The evening news? <laughs> yeah, like, come on, dude. You, you're just <laughs> the, making shit up. The, this just in. Opposites <laughs> attract. <laughs> <laughs> Before, too, you know the saying, opposites attract, lol. Oh, wow. I thought that was just a thing people said. No, I didn't know it was true. No. I've had a lot of friends that I thought would never last a month with the new significant other that ended up still being together 20 plus years mm-hmm. later. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I think it works. I think the reason that it works is because it constantly brings something new to the other. That when you're with someone that you have a lot in common with, you might as well be married to yourself because it becomes the same old, same old. Kind of makes what? sense. So what do you, you say? Do Want to move York out here, here and get married, have 10 kids, and see how we do in the rocking chair in 40 years? Holy shit. What was that, Blue Boy? Well, it's like that. his just logic behind Blue that. Boy. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, I was just saying, like, his logic behind why people who are opposite are better suited for each other makes no sense, because... You would think, you know, two people who have things in common, it wouldn't be boring. You would have more things to do together that you both enjoy. Exactly. A a relationship is a partnership, just like any partnership. And if you were going to go into business with someone, you wouldn't want it to be someone who fundamentally thinks completely opposite about business with you, right? 
Yeah. By like, the way, I have a, a couple websites. You wanna? Do you wanna do them for me? Just name when I can start. I'm looking to make residual income. Is this a possibility? <laughs> Now I'm not a teenage girl. Is that going to be an issue? Oh shit! Yeah, that actually that All is right. a big issue. And that's <laughs> I, fig- I figured that would be the deal breaker. Yeah, actually, you know what? The position was just filled. Sorry. Oh god damn it! You have a daughter or anything? Or? I do, I do, and she's she, eager for she work. <laughs> <laughs> she's eager for work. She has a computer in her room, and I never supervise. Oh, that does a does a door lock from the inside. <laughs> just, she's hired. She's hired. She's hired. Get, yeah. Give her my number. She can text me when she's comfortable. <laughs> Lol. Oh gosh, any kids? I don't want any kids. I don't even know what you look like. Mm, I don't want ten kids either, lol. <laughs> I look like an old pedophile. You mean what all you this mean? time we've been talking, you haven't looked up to see what I look like? Apparently, those couple of videos that I sent you last week, or maybe it was the week before, were never viewed. They lol. were viewed. <laughs> no, I forgot to watch them. That is okay. I don't want dogs, <laughs> and I don't like the cold anyways. I forgot to watch them, but that is okay. <laughs> Like, I don't want to see what you look like, man. It's fine. I don't give a like, shit. I didn't watch it, but you know what? I don't give a shit. <laughs> and then, I don't want dogs, and I don't like the cold anyways. That is a blow-off. Yeah, I wanted to establish it very early that she was not interested in moving to Cornville. Yeah, and I don't there's want never, dogs. She never once agrees to it. Like, throughout the whole catfish or through text messages, she never once agrees to go there. Oh, yeah, dude. So that's why in the part of the KC, the, he's... He keeps trying to convince her that she was the one who brought up moving to Cornville first. And that is not how it fucking works. No. Not, not at all. And she's like, no, I didn't. And he's trying to convince her that she was the first one who brought up moving to Cornville. Why? Yeah. We all hear it in that call. He's like, we just got to figure out how to get you here. Well, yeah. And he, he does this thing, too, in the text messages where it's like, he'll say something like, uh, for example, like... um. You know, if if I moved to California, we'd have to buy, you know, a different house. And she's like, oh, yeah, why is that? And, he, and then he would explain it. And then, like, the conversation would be dropped. And then, like, a week later, he'd be like, we were talking about moving in together. Yeah. Well, because you like, didn't. Well, Im- no, you just mentioned it and I just didn't say anything. Because you didn't immediately say we're not moving in together. That is the discussion about where we're going to live. Yeah. Or he's like, we were making plans to live together. And it's, no, Lord, you had just said, like, that. I was masturbating myself thinking about those plans, Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to ruin them? No. <laughs> oh, thanks, Keisha. You okay. I just took a picture of myself. So you send me a picture she of you, didn't want and I'll a send picture. mine to you. Lord. Right, she already said uh, it. No. I wasn't asking for a picture. I was just saying I don't know what you look like. I'm still shocked that you don't know me, especially with all the crap on YouTube. Did you notice that I was scared to send you a picture? That's why I asked you for a picture first, lol. No, I didn't notice. Why would I look you up on YouTube? You aren't like a celebrity or something. That was starting to legit. You don't need to. At the time. I could, yeah, like I could Just tell. Times, like, the fucking nervous man to think he's like a famous person. It was, it was driving me crazy. I was like, bro, no, she would not look at you or look you up or care about what you've been up to. The real Casey would not care. You should have just did a Lauren time in. Hey, this is Blue Boy. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, she wouldn't care about that, Lauren. Now, continue pretending that, <laughs> that I'm Casey. All right. Yeah. I think that's insane. Yeah, it, it just, it's so it's stupid. I just hate how full of himself he is. Even if you were, like, a big YouTuber, that would make you seem really douchey. Though, like, oh, I can't believe you haven't looked me up. If yeah. you have something you want her to see, send her the fucking link. And oh, why you can't? Would you... In, in Lauren's case specifically, why would you want her to look you up? I don't know. If anything, he should be like, you know, there's no reason for you to look me up. There's nothing online, so don't, don't even look, try. Seriously, don't look me up. There's a lot of bullshit on there. It's just going to, you know, like, don't look me up. Instead, he's well, like, just I don't can't mention believe it you Because it. most people just don't do that, I don't think. Yeah. I don't just go around, like, Googling everyone I meet. Just going and looking up people on YouTube yeah. to see if there's videos about I don't them. give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, why would anyone do I'm that? Go, you know, after we, someone remind me after this, I'm gonna go look and see if there's videos about Sloth Cat on you. Yeah, like, I don't I'm give a them. fuck. I'm, I'm gonna find them. I'm not going to marry and have kids with the stranger. Oh, wow. I do hope you know that I was joking about that, lol. Look my channel up on YouTube if it's still there. You said you remember me before, but I don't quite think you do. But I think you'll remember me better after you see me. 
and that's where we are going to leave it for now. Uh, Lorne is in the middle of winning his his love. He's doing a, he's doing a pretty fair he's to doing, you know, job. Heck of a job. He's he's doing a pretty good job of winning over uh, sweet sweet Casey. And we will pick this up hopefully tomorrow. Are you available tomorrow, Blue? I don't have a job, man. That's right. That's right. You don't have a job. <laughs> you ain't paying your child support. Fuck and, uh, and your parole officer doesn't even know where you live. And Flock nope. had, of course, the same for you. You're obviously black. Um, so. <laughs> obviously. You know, it goes without saying. You know? Y'all heard my voice? <laughs> he asked me for butt stuff. I said, sure. But how do I know I'm not getting ripped off? I don't want to be a Perry. Sucking cock? We need to talk. I sucked his dick. I swallowed his dick. It's another cock I like swallowing, and I'm gay. Sucking cock? We need to talk. Perry said I looked like Shannon Doherty, and then he tried to kiss me. The next day, he forcefully sucked off RC for like two sack vouchers. Fucking freak. Hi, I'm Attorney Westmost. If you're a man looking to profit from your various holes and hands like Perry, but you want to get paid what you're worth, don't go down without a contract. Don't go down without a lawyer. Next time I will call Westmost. I fight to the last drop before you take the first drop. Don't brag, don't boast. Spit out that cock and call me Westmost. I'm sorry, RC. Don't be a Perry. Before you suck cock, we need to talk. The following announcement has been paid for by the Lorn World Order. <laughs> On the rap so like it. Here's a little story, and you're sure to like it. Swift and slot, and I'm playing it cool with my homegirl. Hold on. Baby, this seems we never, ever agree. You like the movies, and I like TV. I think I'm serious, and you think I'm lovely. I go to bed early, and I party all night. Our friends are saying, we can go to Cause I'm a slow
Yeah, well, thank you. That's I appreciate. I appreciate you saving your dick sucking for after the stream. 